I think it was one of Josh's best outings, in just my opinion. Uh, he, threw, he threw the ball through the plate, through his location. It's very, very well. An explosive fastball with good movement. Probably the best breaking ball we've seen as far as depth to it and command of it. Good. You know, I had good stuff today, and uh, when you have good stuff, you should, you should win ball games. And uh, you know, just got good defense behind me, and you know, sprinkled in a couple strikeouts there. And uh, all in all, pretty good. Game. who won 13 games last year and off to a strong start this year gets the nod in game two of the series between the Red Sox and the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi everybody, I'm Don Orsillo. Welcome to Red Sox Baseball. A fine victory here last night for the Red Sox as interleague got underway. And tonight, the premier pitching matchup of the series. Two very good right-handers going head-to-head -head in tonight's ballgame. For Josh Beckett, who has been outstanding, he's won his last two starts, wins on the road at New York and at Baltimore. His career against the Phillies, he is 6-3. and three. On the other side for Brett Myers, he's fifth in the National League and earned run average of 2.73. The problem for him has been run support. The Phillies only giving him three runs a game. He's tied for the worst run support in the National League. As we welcome in Jerry Remy. Jerry, certainly last time out for Josh Beckett appeared to be his best stuff we've seen. Well, I would have to agree with Francona with Veritek, who you saw in those clips. I thought it was the best outing he's had in a Red Sox uniform, and he was just overpowering that night against Baltimore. Had all his pitches going for him. We're going to see strikeouts here on a fastball. We're going to see strikeouts on a couple of breaking balls. But to me, in this game, I thought he got ahead with his fastball and then put people away with the breaking ball. Here's a strikeout on an excellent curveball that night, and we'll see one more curveball. A ball here to Javi Lopez for another strikeout. You know, Beckett's becoming one of those guys, Don, that you like, you look forward to their start. You know, there are very few of those guys in baseball. I always felt that way about Pedro Martinez. I feel that way now about Josh Beckett. I look forward to his start in the game because he's got such good stuff, you don't know what to expect. You expect something big from him every time he goes out to the mound. Now, he's very familiar with this uh, Philadelphia ball club, 6 and 3 lifetime, although the number's not as good here in this ballpark. There's 1 and 1 with a pretty high ERA. But nobody in this lineup's had great success against him. Abreu, a low average, but he does have a couple of home runs, so it could be another big night for Josh Beckett. You know, the Red Sox looking to take two in a row from the Phillies. The first pitch from Philadelphia next. Thank you. Oh, it's cold. <sighs> Introducing the new iced coffee from McDonald's. Try it free for four days only, May 18th to the 21st. So come on in and grab a cup. The Memorial Day sales event is going on now at your Chrysler dealer. Save big on the available six-passenger Chrysler Pacifica with a five-star frontal crash test rating. The versatile Chrysler Town & Country with exclusive stow-and-go seating. And the fun-to-drive PT Cruiser, America's best small car alternative. Hurry to your Chrysler dealer by May 31st before the Memorial Day sales event ends. Get to your Chrysler dealer for up to $4,000 cash allowance on select Chrysler vehicles or get 0% financing for 60 months. All's fair in love and business, and a man's got to do what a man's got to do. This miracle microfiber sofa and love seat is untouchable. I got to do what I got to do. With lift up coffee table and two end tables, it ought to be $13.99, plus a pair of lamps. It should be $14.59. With the matching chaise lounge, it could be $17.59. But it's not. All eight pieces untouchable at only $11.99. It's nothing short of astounding. The Memorial Day sales event is going on now at your Dodge dealer. Save big on the hardworking Ram 3500, the legendary Cummins Turbo Diesel, or the big new Ram Mega Cab with best-in-class interior room, and the Ram Quad Cab with a new frame and suspension for an improved ride. 
grab the truck you really want, a Dodge Ram. Hurry to your Dodge dealer by May 31st before the Memorial Day sales event ends. Get to your local Dodge dealer for up to $4,500 cash allowance or 0% financing for 60 months on select Rams. When it comes to horsepower, lots of tractors have the numbers. But numbers don't do work. You do. That's why you want a new John Deere 20 Series tractor with load match. It puts more power where the work gets done to help you dig, lift, haul, and enjoy. Test drive a 20 Series tractor today. It gives you more power where it counts. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Ready to go with the first pitch of the ball game tonight is Kevin Euclid in on the right side. And the first pitch of this one inside. From Brett Myers. Brett Myers has had an outstanding season. Only two wins. Those coming against Colorado and Florida and a bunch of no decisions. As a matter of fact, his last three games, no decisions. The Phillies won all of those games. He was hooked up with guys like Smoltz and Pedro in a couple of them. And you can see his last loss to the Red Sox of last year in his career against Boston, one and one. That's in four games. But the 2.73 ERA, the fifth best in the National League. Some pretty impressive numbers from Myers. Clearly not getting any run support from his Phillies. Nicholas starts tonight hitting at 309, three homers and 20 runs batted in. Myers behind 3 and 0. There's a strike to Euclid, who had the night off last night. With David Ortiz getting the start at first base and Lowell at third base. Tonight, Euclid at third base. And Ortiz back at first tonight. This is Jack towards deep left center field. Back goes Victorino. And he makes the catch shy of the track for out number one. Let's take a look at the Red Sox starting lineup brought to you by New England Dodge Dealers. We have seen Euclid's Mark Loretta at second base, bat second, David Ortiz at first base. Danny Ramirez in left field, Trot Nixon in right, Jason Veritek doing the catching. Willie Mopena at center field, Alex Gonzalez at shortstop, and Josh Beckett on the mound, bats ninth. Down for Mark Loretta. Red Sox tonight will see that fastball from Myers anywhere from 89 to 94. He'll throw a cut fastball, a curveball, and a changeup. A much gustier wind here tonight at Citizens Bank Ballpark as it is blowing hard from left to right tonight. Falling behind Loretta 2 0. It's a 293 with a home run and 18 runs batted in. And there for a strike, and it's 2 and 1. It's been a constant battle here since batting practice between Red Sox fans and Philly fans. The Red Sox nation yelling, Let's go, Red Sox. As soon as that starts, they're being booed by the Philly fans. Retta fouls it off to the right and it evens up now at two and two. Retta has hit safely in four games on the trip eight for 18 over the last nine games for Loretta he's hit at a 487 clip. 20 for 41 as he has been hot. High ball into shallow center. Shane Victorino underneath it. And there's two down in the inning. Let's take a look at the Philly defense. It's brought to you by New England Ford dealers. They are 11th in the National League with 29 errors in 41 games. Ryan Howard having a tough time at first base with seven errors. He'll be joined in the infield by David Bell, Jimmy Rollins, and Chase Utley. Left field, Pat Burrell, center field, Shane Victorino, Bobby Abreu and right. And Carlos Ruiz doing the catching tonight in place of Sal Pisano. Two down for David Ortiz. And then behind again as Myers has been behind to the first three batters he's faced tonight. Big Poppy at 268, 14 homers and 37 runs batted in.
Ball to strike to Big Poppy. There's a four game hitting streak coming into tonight's action as Manny Ramirez waits on deck. A strike Ortiz had a notion but couldn't pull the trigger. And good movement on that fastball at 91 moving away from David Ortiz and picks up the outside corner of the two seam fastball. Strike three call. First strike out of the night for Brett Myers. Red Sox down in order. The Phillies coming up in Philadelphia. Oh, you check this, right? Three million drivers switched to Geico last year, yeah? I'm telling you this. Why? Well, because I want you to help spread the word. Bloke is that number. He's quite impressed. He's like, three million? That's a lot of people. Why wasn't I invited? Then you're like, of course you're invited. So he stops by Geico.com and he gets his free rate quote. OK, sure. All right, it's not a real party. It's a website. But at least now the fella's done his own work. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. At what point does a car become more than just glass, rubber, and steel? When does it become something you love? When does it become part of your family? At what point does a car become more than just a car? Introducing the all-new Toyota Camry for 2007. It's time to move forward. for our fuel comes from oil on the ground. A lot of it comes from our people who year in and year out put so much of their energy into everything they do. So you can be sure that when you put Valero gas into your tank, you're going to get a lot out of it. Valero, the energy to take you anywhere. The once in a lifetime launch spectacular featuring the new RAV4 and the all new FJ Cruiser. We're making room for the new models, so great deals are going on now. Great deals on the versatile Toyota Highlander. Right now, you could save with $1,000 cash back, or you could save with special low 3.9% financing on the gas sipping Highlander Hybrid, winner of the 2006 Popular Mechanics Energy Efficiency Award. Hurry, Toyota's launch spectacular ends May 31st. See your New England Toyota dealer now. It's time to move forward. Last half of the first inning back in Philadelphia. Let's check out the Phillies lineup brought to you by Rico. Jimmy Rollins leads it off at shortstop. Chase Utley at second base. Bobby Abreu in right field. Pat Burrow in left. Brian Howard at first base. Shane Victorino in center field. David Bell at third base. Carlos Rio Ruiz does the catching. And Brett Myers, the pitcher, bats ninth. On the mound tonight for Boston is Josh Beckett. A 214 batting average against that's third best in the American League. You see the record standing at five and one in his career against the Phillies six and three. That's in 14 starts. And look at the strikeouts 81 strikeouts in 80 and two thirds innings against Philadelphia ball clubs. Jimmy Rollins leading it off for the Phillies and he takes the first pitch for ball one away. Rollins, who has had a tough season offensively, hitting at just 239. Four homers and 12 runs batted in. Beckett coming off back to back wins against the Yankees, and last time out, I thought his best outing of the year against the Baltimore Orioles a couple of concerns after that game his back when he caught a cleat doesn't appear to be a problem and certainly no blister problem well, behind three and oh to the leadoff batter here for the Phillies Rollins one for four here last night career wise he does have a home run against Josh Beckett but a 243 hitter his Phillies certainly have faced him a lot. There's a strike, and it's three and one now to Rollins. Over the last nine games, Jimmy Rollins just four for his last 33, hitting at 121. Ball four in the leadoff walk for Jimmy Rollins to begin things here in the bottom of the first inning. 
The Red Sox defense is brought to you by a Boston area Lexus dealers. They remain first in the league with only 12 errors on the season. Kevin Euclid's at third base, Alex Gonzalez the shortstop, Mark Loretta at second, David Ortiz at first, left to right, Manny Rivers, Willie Mo Pena and Trot Nixon, and Jason Veritek doing the catching. If you look at the left side of the infield, Euclid's Gonzalez, one error each on the left side. They're available as telecast can be heard in Spanish by selecting the SAP button on your television remote. Enjoy the game. Let us know, Jay's amigos. Jimmy Rollins at first base. Nobody out here in the bottom of the first. Chase Utley, the batter. After that first pitch, guys one to left, sending Ramirez back. Well, Manny makes the catch, tagging at first and heading to second is the speedy Rollins who gets there head first. Uh, Manny got caught napping out there in left field. A high fly ball that he catches, and it looks like after he made the catch, he put his head down. Now, Pena should be alerting him that the man at first base is tagging up, but there, Manny surprised to see him tag up, and that's a gift right there to allow Rollins into second base. See, when you're looking up at a fly ball, you've got to let him know that he's tagging up. Now, I don't know if Pena was doing that. Gonzalez was trying to do that, but it's tough to do from shortstop. So Jimmy Rollins getting into scoring position with one down. And here's Bobby Abreu. Well, you at 282 to begin the night. Four homers and 26 runs batted in. Abreu two for three in the ball game here last night. Strike over the outside corner, 94 miles per hour that time from Josh Beckett. He has had a tough time against Beckett, five for 28. He does have two home runs. Pickoff play at second base, cheating in was Gonzalez. No throw from Beckett, and now Jason Veritek out to talk to Josh Beckett. Mentioned that last start in Baltimore uh, as he caught a cleat on the mound, and a little bit of a back problem. This is in warmups. And of course, he was checked out uh, immediately by the uh, coaching staff, by the trainers. And for the next day or so, you kind of saw him uh, with a back. Uh, heating pad on his back as he walked around the clubhouse. So that was more of a concern, obviously, at that point than the finger. Euclidus gets up and throws to first in time to get a Brayu. Nice play by Kevin Euclidus diving to his left and then picking himself up to throw out a Brayu at first base. Now, Euclidus, of course, who has played the, the majority of the time at first base, moves back to his normal position, third base, and, and immediately saves a run for the Red Sox. A diving play. To throw Abreu out at first base. So two down, Jimmy Rollins gets over to third base. And a very nice play by Kevin Euclidus. And it brings up Ryan Howard. Now, this is an interesting situation. Look where Euclidus is here. And Rollins, if he if he winds up, if Beckett winds up and get way down that line, so you're gonna have to keep an eye on that. We'll see if Beckett works in the uh, stretch position. And he's gone over. Now lifts it in the air towards right field. And Nixon back towards the track. Makes the catch and ends the inning. Rollins left at third base. Done with one scoreless from Philadelphia. We're on a road trip to find out if everyone's getting what they want from Verizon. How is it switching from the dial-up to the DSL? Oh, it's simple. It's easy. What do you do for fun out here? You're looking at it. Do you have DSL from Verizon? Yeah, I do. Who installed it? I did. What do you like about Verizon? We love how fast it is. It's definitely the fastest thing that I've ever seen. Switching to Verizon Online DSL is not only easy, it's as low as $17.99 a month. That was cool. Kind of nice out here. Phone. 
Broadband, TV, Verizon. The Memorial Day sales event is going on now at your Dodge dealer. Save big on the hardworking Ram 3500, the legendary Cummins Turbo Diesel, or the big new Ram Mega Cab with best-in-class interior room, and the Ram Quad Cab with a new frame and suspension for an improved ride. Grab the truck you really want, a Dodge Ram. Hurry to your Dodge dealer by May 31st before the Memorial Day sales event ends. Get to your local Dodge dealer for up to $4,500 cash allowance or 0% financing for 60 months on select Rams. coffee from McDonald's. Try it free for four days only, May 18th to the 21st. So come on in and grab a cup. Manny Ramirez leads it off here in the second inning. Scoreless after one. Beckett getting out of an early jam with Rollins left at third base by the Phillies. And he starts the night up over 300 as Ramirez checks in at 301, seven homers and 19 runs batted in. Letting a four game hitting streak coming into tonight's action was one for four in the ball game here last night. Players get behind a couple of the Red Sox in the first inning and behind Manny here, 3 0. This is strike three and one. Of course, Manny had the opposite field grand slam home run a year ago against Myers, and I think Manny couldn't believe he got out of the ballpark. One of those hot, muggy days here in Philly, and the ball just carried out to the opposite field. Strike two to Manny. As he looks back at Jerry Crawford, it's a full count now. Fastball outside corner, good pitch. He's had a 1 2 3 first inning. Struck out David Ortiz to conclude the first. And he opens the second by striking out Ramirez. Red Sox baseball on Nesson is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, by your Boston area Lexus dealers, by Foxwoods Resort Casino, by your New England Dodge dealers, by Home Depot. By New England Ford dealers and by Dunkin Donuts America runs on Dunkin. One down on the second inning and Trot Nixon takes strike one from Brett Myers. Back to back strikeout for Myers against Ortiz Ortiz with a cut fastball a cross seam fastball for Manny for his strikeout. Up and away from Manny Ramirez on the 3 2 count at about 94 miles an hour. Nixon pops it up as David Bell drifts back, so to Jimmy Rollins. And it's Rollins, a shortstop, two down. Mention that game that uh, Myers pitched last year against the Red Sox, and of course, uh, Manny with that opposite field grand slam. Mark Bellhorn also had a home run in that game against Brett Myers. Well, the Red Sox coming here into Philadelphia last year and sweeping the three game series on a very hot weekend. And the conditions here tonight very comfortable that hard wind blowing from left to right. Myers has retired the first five Red Sox he's faced tonight. And here's Jason Veritek who takes the first pitch strike. Veritek at 241 four homers and 19 runs batted in. Two for four here last night with a home run. 
was part of the three home run attack last night in the Red Sox five to three win. Mike Lowell with a home run David Ortiz with a home run and Jason Veritek with the other. Popped up left side again. Rollins and Bell and it is Bell in front of Rollins who makes the catch in order to go the Red Sox scoreless after an inning and a half. Tonight at Red Roof Inn, guests get great deals at redroof.com. Oh, that deal's hot! And get a great deal more than they expected. How low can you go? Don't miss red hot deals from Red Roof Inn and Accor Hotel. in a lifetime launch spectacular come check out four all new toyotas we're making room for these new models so great deals are going on now great deals on sienna right now you could lease one for just 229 a month for 36 months with only 1999 due assigning that's the lowest payment ever or you could save with one thousand dollars cash back and that includes sienna all-wheel drive models hurry toyota's launch spectacular ends may 31st see your new england toyota dealer now it's time to move forward Thank you. Oh, it's cold. <sighs> Introducing the new iced coffee from McDonald's. Try it free for four days only, May 18th to the 21st. So come on in and grab a cup. Tonight at Red Roof Inn, Bill stays in a business king room. Look at this space. And feels like a business king himself. Multitasking. Chances of me working are remote. Don't miss the redesigned, rededicated Red Roof Inn and a core hotel. The rivalry has shifted from the field to the felt. Season two of PartyPolka.net's Boston, New York Polka Challenge continues tomorrow at 5.30. Team Boston took round one from New York, but can Doug, Carlos, and Sarah hold on to the 2 0 lead against a tough, tough lineup? Check it out tomorrow at 5 30, immediately following Red Sox coverage right here on Nesson. New participants, huh? Doug, Carlos, and Sarah. And Sarah. Yep. What happened to Fast Eddie? Him from last year, we had him on after he won it all. He's in the Polka Hall of Fame. Brad Burrell leading it off, sending it foul down the first baseline back into the seats. Oh, 273, 11 homers and 30 runs batted in. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game last night. In the last 23 games, hitting at 292. The key matchup is brought to you by Honda. And against Josh Beckett, 29 at bats, got 9 Ks. And the batting average under 200 at 172 against Beckett. Six and inside. Well, this year with 11 home runs, he has 170 career home runs. He's 10th in the Philadelphia Phillies history. Inside again, 96 again. In that last outing in the win at Baltimore, threw just 80 pitches through seven innings on his 26th birthday. And when he left, uh, things were certainly under control by the Red Sox. It was an 8 1 Red Sox lead when he departed after seven innings. The Red Sox went on to win 11 to 1. And this is now his third straight start away from Fenway Park, a 14 to 3 victory at New York on May 9th. Back to back road wins. Yeah. 
first time he had won at Yankee Stadium since game six of the 2003 World Series. With the payoff pitch. Ball hits it in the air to deep right field, sending Nixon back on to the warning track to make the catch for the first out of the inning. Check in with Tina Servacio. Tina? Well, Don, in the top half of the inning, Jason Veritek may have popped out to third, but this date, May 20th, Veritek has made some magic at the plate. Going back to 2001, Veritek has hit a home run in five consecutive May 20th. Back in 2001, there were three home runs versus Kansas City, all leading up to his home run versus the Atlanta Braves. Tim Hudson last year at Fenway. So we'll see tonight on this May 20th if Veritek will make his sixth consecutive home run on this date. Pretty ironic how that has worked out for Jason Veritek, a date he enjoys very much. I want to see that second guy again that he hit that second home run <laughs> against the lefty. Yes. He flinched after that home run. <laughs> I have no idea who that was but it was a left left hander throwing side arm and when Veritek made contact almost like he fell backwards. There it is what is who's it? Kelly Wunsch is yes. that him the White Sox. What, what's his reaction. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you were talking about Louis Tion. That was about a week ago or so. Some of the uh, reactions he oh. would have on balls that he gave up on home runs on. I remember a couple of times somebody would take him deep at Fenway Park, and he, he could, you just could hear him yelling, "Oh no!" Jay <laughs> Victorino pounds one foul outside of first, breaking his bat. Torino's been playing in center field in the absence of Aaron Rowan. They're doing a pretty good job in the absence of Aaron Rowan. Rowan with the multiple fractures to his face running into that defense out there in right center field and on the DL for the Phillies. Now has padding on the top of it, did not have padding there before. And he went in face first. Straight batter, a full count for Beckett again. Shane Victorino this time around. He was very good in Rowan's absence. The 367, two homers, eight runs batted in. Victorino making his 11th start, 10th in center field. At Loretta. Two down in the second inning. On Sunday, June 25th, it's a special opportunity for you to join Red Sox players and their wives for Picnic in the Park 2006. You'll get dinner in the Fenway Park outfield, an autograph session with the players, and much more. To order your ticket or more information, call 617 226 6002 or email questions to the Red Sox Foundation at redsox.com. Proceeds will benefit the Red Sox Foundation and the Room to Grow program. David Bell flares one out into right field. A two out single for the Phillies third baseman on the first hit of the night off Josh Beckett. David Bell came into the game a 192 hitter against Josh Beckett in his career. Takes the fastball and shoots it the other way. Inside out stroke to pick up the base hit. So two down Bell at first base and here is Carlos Ruiz getting the start tonight we saw Sal Fasano last night doing the catching. He's at 136 as an RBI no home runs. Start of the year with the Strand Wilkesbury Red Barons called up on May the 5th. And Mike Lieberthal was placed on the DL with the left knee contusion. 
hits it hard on the ground, but at Gonzalez will go to second for the fourth out. He retires David Bell. Scoreless to a two from Philadelphia. Came to spend some time together, reconnect. Like when I met her, dice are hot. Like the names they got. Non-stop fun. Why do we always take your car? What can I tell you? It's a Mercury Milan. The secret's out. Milan can get you out of that Accord or Camry routine. With its sleek lines and sharp interior, it doesn't look like anything else. Up to 32 miles per gallon isn't too bad either. Hey, can I drive? Maybe next time. And now you can lease Milan for just $2.19 a month. See your New England Lincoln Mercury dealer today. We make 18 award-winning styles of Samuel Adams. Sam Light is my drink. Boston Ale. Black Lager. Cherry Wheat. The Winter Lager. Summer Ale. It's my yeast. Yeah, who do you love? Know? CNM Billiards and Bar Stool says everything to make your home entertaining. Start with an unbelievable selection of Brunswick pool tables in the new Brunswick Pavilion Showcase. TNM also has everything you need for Texas Hold'em poker, foosball, pinball, air hockey, and more. Looking for bars and stools? There's no better selection, even home theater seating. Plus, TNM has all the accessories to make your home fun. Stop by TNM Billiards and Bar Stools in Willimantic and Rocky Hill, the source for home game entertainment. Know the score before the game. Tune in Olympia Sports presents the Boston Globe pregame report for analysis, player features, commentary, and more. Olympia Sports presents the Boston Globe pregame report one hour before game time on Nesson. Red Sox fans, if you need medical care while at Fenway Park, visit the Beth Israel Deaconess First Aid Station behind Section 12. Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center is the official hospital of the Boston Red Sox. Top of the third and the bottom third of the Red Sox order featured here as Willie Montpena, then Alex Gonzalez and Josh Beckett in the inning. Red Myers has retired the first six Red Sox that he has faced tonight. Willie Montpena, 309, four homers and 18 runs batted in. Well, at the end of the bat and grounded through the right side, out of the reach of Ryan Howard diving. And the Red Sox have their first base runner of the night. Willie Mopena had been 0 for 3 against Brett Myers before taking this uh, cut fastball or slider under the glove of both Ryan Howard and Chase Utley for the base hit to the opposite field. Mopena with 16 to the opposite field as he stands at first base to begin things here in the third. Gonzalez starting the night hitting at 200. Last night was intentionally walked for his last 13 as he takes a pitch outside. That's a 200 with a home run and 12 runs batted in. Last hit a third inning single back on May 12th against Texas. Don't have a hit on the road trip. He's 0 for 13 on the trip. And hitless in his last 14 tries. Gonzalez pops it up. Foul ground first baseway. Ryan Howard over by his own dugout, but runs out of room. And we see Ryan Howard here with the Philadelphia Phillies. I think, Jerry, we got our first feeling about to the competitive nature. Uh, the Red Sox pitcher Josh Beckett and one of the first chances we get to see him pitch of course was in spring training. Sometimes you don't see starters get to all that fired up for their spring training outings and you certainly cannot say that about Josh Beckett who was fired up uh, right out of the gate and took exception to Howard who took a little while to get out of the box after hitting a fly ball to deep center field in Clearwater and Beckett after he was done started with him from the dugout and the two never did get at each other. 
David Bell gathers the baseball and a foul ball the indication by the third base umpire. Actually it's the home plate umpire that makes that call until the ball gets the bag at third base it's the responsibility of the home plate umpire to make the call and Crawford finally did once the third base umpire sees his call that's when he put his arms up. Pena back to the bag at first. Alex Gonzalez. The count of one and two. Gonzalez grounds it to third base. Bell, the second for one, on to first, the double play. Well, easier try this time for David Bell. And they turn the 5 4 3 twin killing. You know, talking to people around the Phillies, they say the cut fastball for Brett Myers has really made a huge difference. Well, there's a cut fastball and there's the ground ball for the double play. Bell to Utley to Howard for the quick two outs. And another look at the cut fastball from Brett Myers right toward the end of the bat. Well, a 187 hitter and 187 at bats. I should say a 139 hitter and 187 at bats. As he goes the opposite way to right field, but right in the direction of Abreu. Gone to the Red Sox in the top of the third through two and a half scoreless from Philly. Remember the fun stuff you had in your childhood? Wouldn't it be great to go back in time and relive those memories? Step into the time machine, New England's largest hobby, toy, and game destination. If you like collecting, Time Machine is the best place to find coin and stamp collecting supplies, including stamps throughout the world. Want sports memorabilia, sports cards, and all the supplies? Think Time Machine. Family time. Fun time. Anytime. It's Time Machine, where hobbies and imagination meet Manchester. You know what we should do with that money we won? I've always dreamed that we could take the most romantic vacation ever. Paris. Rome, Venice, to share all that with the man I love would mean everything to me. I'll get that. Play the Connecticut Lottery's Mega Money Scratch Game with a top prize of $20,000 that you can spend any way you want. You gotta take this back. What? Oh! Hey! Hey! Swimming, soccer, ballet, oboe, and last but not least, karate! Swimming, soccer, ballet, oboe. And just one more time. Karate! No time to eat? Grab a new Dunkin' Donuts smoothie made with real fruit and yogurt and drop the kids at Swimming, Soccer, Ballet, Oboe, and Karate. America runs on Dunkin'. Stop by Dunkin' Donuts today and try a new smoothie in one of three delicious flavors. You tune in Sports Desk each day to get your news, scores, and highlights. Now you can tune in and get a car. Check out the desk and you could win a 2007 Dodge Caliber, the new lightweight roomy hatchback that gets 32 miles per gallon on the highway with features that you won't find in any other car. Tune in Sports Desk the week of May 22nd to catch the Dodge Caliber question of the day. Log on to Nesson.com and with every correct answer, you'll get an entry into the Dodge Caliber grand prize draw. It's easy. It's Sports Desk. You watch anyway. Now, why not win? Red Sox fans swing by any eye party store to enter for a chance to win a Boston Red Sox VIP experience at Fenway Park. And while you're there, check out the eye party Red Sox fan zone for all your Red Sox party supplies. Visit iParty.com for store locations near you. Last half of the third inning, scoreless after two and a half, and Beckett back on the mound after lining out to right to end the inning. So far, he's given up just the one hit through his first two innings of work. David Bell with a single. And in the second inning, he's thrown 27 pitches through the first two innings. Well, Terry Francona returning here to Philadelphia. Was uh, managing here for four seasons and had some very tough teams here in Philadelphia. Had a tough time, and I think for a long time, Terry wondered if he'd ever get another opportunity to manage in the big leagues. So 
Chance for him to come back here after winning a championship in Boston. Four seasons with the Phillies. Some lean years here in Philadelphia. And imagine, Jerry, and listening to some of the talk radio here, this would be a pretty tough team to be bad in. Yeah, this is uh, very much like Boston. I mean, you know, it, it can be rough uh, around here in Philly. There's no question about that. And going through losing se seasons like Francona did with not much of a ball club uh, had to be very painful at the old vet. Well, Myers leading it off here for the Phillies. Beckett walked the leadoff batter in the first inning, Jimmy Rollins. So one walk tonight. Beckett does not have a strikeout yet. There's one for 18 so far in the season. Red Sox have won all four regular season meetings here at Citizens Bank Park. Red Sox overall have won five straight games in Philadelphia since the last loss at Veterans Stadium. On June 22nd of 2003. Each time the Red Sox win at Fenway Park, Hood donates $1,500 to children's hospitals throughout New England through the Hood Home Team Advantage Charity Program. It's another reason you can feel good about Hood. There's falling off another, and it's two and two. And we told you last night how nationally teams, when the pitcher comes to the plate, play very shallow and shade into the opposite field. Well, it, it paid off perfectly last inning when Beckett hit the ball. You know, the ball leaves the bat. You think maybe base hit. You look up, and the right field of Bobby Abreu is right there making the play. Swing and a miss. There's the first strikeout of the night for Josh Beckett. Beckett goes up and out of the strike zone with the overpowering fastball to get Myers. Beckett's high in strikeout seven for the season. He did that against the New York Yankees. I thought the Yankees with that come from behind win today against the Mets. A feel for Pedro Martinez who pitched marvelously in the bullpen giving it up especially Billy Wagner at the end of that game for the Mets. This one skied out towards right field. And Nixon makes his way in. Finally comes down and he takes care of out number two. Join Hazel May Monday night at 5 30 and 11 30 for an all new episode of Granite City Electric's Red Sox Rewind. This week, Hazel rewinds further back, 20 years back, for a look at the expectations of the 86 Red Sox. That's Monday night at 5 30 and 11 30 right here on Nesson. Here's Chase Utley with two down in the last half of the third inning. Utley flying out to left field his first time up against Beckett. Utley leading the Phillies in hits with 46. In the last 16 games hitting at 344. Adding in that number two spot in the Phillies order. Now getting back to that, so we showed you that little clip of Beckett and Howard back in spring training. In case you missed that game, what happened is the wind that day was blowing in from left field, and Howard put a pretty good charge in the ball out to left field. He thought it was gone, and of course, uh, you know, he started to go into his home run trot, and then Beckett just kind of looked at him. Said, it's a routine fly ball. You're out. And that's really what kind of got things going uh, for that little altercation or misunderstanding, or whatever you want to call it, down in, in Clearwater. Of course, that all captured on Nesson. Get missing for ball three, three and one. Red Sox offense has been coming around. The Red Sox hitting at 306 over the last 14 games. 
Moving that batting average as a team up to 274. That's good for seventh in the American League. This one ripped to right. Nixon back looking up and it is gone. Chase Utley hits his ninth home run of the year and puts the Phillies on top one to nothing. Beckett allows his ninth home run of the season. It's a fastball, a two seam fastball that's up, and Utley gets on top of it, hooks it into the stands out there in right field. Nine home runs allowed by Beckett, all coming away from Fenway Park. Fouls it off at the dish. Grounded out to third base first time up. Veritek wants it down here and the ball just kind of stays up in the zone. It'll be up in this area here and you can see Utley just hook it. For the home run. Well, Utley has had three two home run games this season. He now has nine home runs on the year. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Currently leading all major league second baseman now with those nine home runs. Foul tipped and held onto by Veritek as Abreu strikes out second K for Beckett, but a solo shot for Chase Utley as the Phillies on one to nothing. Time now for a sports desk update with Paul Devlin. Thank you, Don. Coming up tonight on Sports Desk, presented by FW Webb, distributor of plumbing and heating supplies since 1866. A stunning chain of events at the Preakness. Barry Bonds ties the babe, plus the Cubs and White Sox have a windy city brawl. And UMass Lacrosse moves on to the NCAA's Final Four. We'll have that all tonight following Red Sox coverage on Sports Desk, presented by FW Webb. Nesson, we've got your team and we Today we may look back and realize that getting so much for so little started right here at Court Hyundai. Introducing the all new Azera, a Hyundai like you've never seen before. Backed by America's best warranty, 10 years or 100,000 miles. Azera, incredibly equipped at just 23,874. It may be the most car for the money ever. Take the Hyundai Challenge at Court Hyundai, Haskell Road, Bangor. You know Chevy trucks are the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. But did you know Chevy Silverado half-ton two-wheel drive work truck gets better fuel economy than Ford F-150 and has more payload and towing capacity? Get an 06 Silverado half-ton regular cab long box two-wheel drive work truck starting at $14,490 after all offers. In 2005, Chevy outsold Ford, Toyota, Honda, and everyone else. See your main Chevy dealer. Subway Dinner Theatre presents the Italian Trio. Three mouth-watering creations from that country that looks like a boot. Now, our new toasted garlic bread, hot and fresh from the oven. Subway, eat fresh! And a shilling 200 win watch, all month long on Nessie. And shills ready with the one-two. Bang, stuck him out. Kevin Euclid leads it off here in the top half of the fourth inning. Phillies on top one nothing. Thanks to the home run by Chase Utley. Euclid has flied out to center field his first time up. Euclid is having last night off back in there tonight for the Red Sox getting the start at third base. First time that he had not played since April the 9th. And Mike Lowell getting tonight off. We're back in there tomorrow. Have to take the night off when you've been as hot as Mike Lowell has been. That's yeah, been one of the uh, problems for Francona to try to make this thing work over the weekend against a National League team, and he didn't want to have Ortiz 
out of the lineup more than one game. He'll get tomorrow off. Lowell back at third base. Huckel at first, a better defensive infield with a sinker ball of Donato out there. So New Rollins at shortstop throws out Kevin Euclid for the first out here of the fourth. We'll take a look at the question tonight and the Aflac trivia question. Which two Phillies outfielders have won National League Gold Gloves? The answer for you a little bit later. I think they called one of them Sarge, didn't they? I think you're right. I don't know if you're right. I think I'm wrong. Loretta hits it in the air towards left field. Pat Burrell in the left center. And there's two down. Matter of fact, I know I'm wrong. Well, two down, and it brings up Big Poppy. He struck out looking back in the first inning. Well, two strikeouts tonight for Brett Myers. Ortiz hits it high in the air to left center field. And the center fielder, Victorino, this time falls off Burrow. Seven pitch inning, one nothing Phillies. Not too close. What do you think? I got that insurance? What insurance is that, Yogi? The one you really need to have. If you don't have it, that's why you need it. Need what? I flat. Well, if you get hurt and miss work, it won't hurt to miss work. Uh-huh. And they give you cash, which is just as good as money. Half lack. Ask about it at work. The once-in-a-lifetime launch spectacular featuring the new RAV4 and the all-new FJ Cruiser. We're making room for the new models, so great deals are going on now. Great deals on Toyota Tundra. Named a smart choice for ownership costs by IntelliChoice.com. And right now, you can save with $1,300 cash back on any Tundra full-size truck. And that includes the very roomy Tundra Double Cab. $1,300 cash back. Hurry. Toyota's launch spectacular ends May 31st. See your New England Toyota dealer now. It's time to move forward. Should we start with a cocktail? I don't drink. Well, then how about a shrimp cocktail? I'm allergic to shellfish. How'd you say you knew my cousin? There's a better way to meet people. Call It's Just Lunch. We'll personally match you with someone who shares your interests, then make all the arrangements for lunch or drinks after work. It's Just Lunch is a terrific thing for people that are busy. You basically show up. It's effortless. It's easy. I just got tired of the bar scene. Too busy to meet people? Call It's Just Lunch. Call now to find out more. Bob showing his devotion. Go Bob. Yes, his devotion to motion. Go Bob. He must have mixed a magic potion. Go Bob. Because it's bigger than the ocean. Go Bob. To recline it, so relax. Some can hold your drinks and snacks. Devotion to motion. Six different choices, six styles divine. Untouchable at only $7.99. The competition crunches, but you know it's true. The Bob has got to do what he's got to do. It's his devotion to motion. Time now for the answer to the Aflac trivia question. Which two Philly outfielders have won National League Gold Gloves? Gary Maddox and Bobby Abreu. Next one, eight Gold Gloves. Bobby Abreu, 2005 National League Gold Glove Award winner. It's Aaron Rowan, a member of the Philadelphia Phillies now, but he won his Gold Glove as a member of the Chicago White Sox. That duck tonight looked like a lame duck, didn't it? <laughs> Ryan Howard leading it off here in the fourth inning. Right of the warning track, his first time up. Sad to see uh, today in the Preakness as we look first at the pro player profile. Our profile brought to you by Sovereign Bank, the official bank of the Red Sox cable network. Mike Sanford, Richie Allen. 88 games last year for Howard, who came away with the you know, Rookie of the Year award. What are you going to say? Huh? That's something we're going to say. No, it's sad. You know, the uh, Preakness today, Barbaro coming out of the gates and uh, with the bad wheel. Too bad. They showed that race on the big scoreboard here during uh, batting practice. I was worried somebody was going to get hurt because the entire uh, 
team out there on the field was not really paying attention to the guy batting there or watching the race. Everything stopped at the ballpark. Watch the uh, horse race up on the big screen. And the 2 2 to Howard. Swing and a miss. Beckett strikes him out. Third K for Josh Beckett. Let's check in with Tina Servacio. Don, earlier you and Jerry were looking at the video from spring training with the incident between Beckett and Howard. If you ask manager Terry Francona about the situation, if he was afraid it would carry over to the series, he says that is way beyond yesterday's news. It, it shouldn't have happened. It wasn't a big deal. Um, that's the things that happened two days ago get put in the rearview mirror. Things that happened two months ago, as far as I'm concerned, are, are history. I've heard Howard's a great kid. We love Beckett. It just he yelled at him. It's not the end of the world. Well, this streaming line drive off the tip of Gonzalez who jumped in the air, tried to time his leap in, ripped into left center field by Burrow. And a one out single. After back to back overpowering strikeouts of by Beckett, Pat Burrell picks up the base hit on the line shot just over the glove of Alex Gonzalez at shortstop. Plus the back to back strikeouts, one to end last inning on a Brayu, and of course, starting this inning off by Howard. You know, it's amazing just to touch on that thing one more time uh, as far as the Beckett Howard situation goes. It seems pretty unusual to have something like that happen in spring training. The Red Sox involved in a couple of things with uh, Julian Tavares of course uh, Joey Gathright and then this situation which there were no punches thrown in uh, that instance but that close as the benches did empty. This is to right field and deep back goes Nixon and on the base of the track to make the catch. Uh, Shane Victorino for out number two. And well, back to the bag at first with two down. And Shane Victorino's doing an admirable job filling in for Aaron Rowan. You know, we saw a little bit of him in spring training. He's a good player. Switch hitter. Hit the ball hard that time, but uh, back a few steps. Nixon to make the play on the line drive. And Aaron Rowan still a ways off here for the Phillies. Looking worse for the wear after running into the fence in right center field. David Bell a single to right field his first time up. Well, we mentioned the uh, Yankees coming back to win a game in which Pedro pitched brilliantly in a fight in Chicago as uh, Przinsky got dropped I guess by Michael Barrett. Yeah we still haven't seen it yet. I have not seen a clip of that. And of course Bonds hitting his home run against Oakland. Seems wherever Przinsky goes trouble seems to find him one way or another. I was hearing uh, while listening to the pregame show we can't see it here but I was listening to TC and Eck uh, speak about the incident and I guess I guess they had a collision at home plate and he Krasinski kind of tapped the plate and I guess Barrett just threw a little straight right at him I guess and that was that. Hit missing and it's the ball and two strikes. He has three strikeouts in his outing tonight. This one up over the head of Bell. Two and two. Tried to snap up a curveball that didn't curve and didn't snap. Hard to tell if that was a curveball or a changeup, but it was uh, certainly not a fastball. Oh, the short lead off first held on by Ortiz as this breaking ball is swung on and missed by Bell. Fourth strikeout for Josh Beckett. The Phillies are gone in the fourth. One nothing Philadelphia. Tonight at Red Roof Inn, guests get great deals at redroof.com. Oh, that deal's hot! And get a great deal more than they expected. How low can you go? Don't miss red hot deals from Red Roof Inn and Accor Hotel. 
The Memorial Day sales event is going on now at your Jeep dealer. Save big on the Jeep Liberty, the best-selling SUV in its class. And Jeep Grand Cherokee with a five-star government crash test rating. And the new trail-rated Jeep Commander with room for seven and available Command View dual skylights. Hurry to your Jeep dealer by May 31st before the Memorial Day sales event ends. Get to your Jeep dealer for up to $3,000 cash allowance on select vehicles or get 0% financing for 60 months. Hi. Hey, what's good here? Well, our mashed potatoes, sweet corn, our crispy chicken. Yes, I want all of that in layers in that order. Should I top it off with gravy and a three cheese blend? It's like you've known me forever. Try new cheesy chicken mashed potato bowls from KFC. Freshly prepared with our famous mashed potatoes layered with sweet corn, all white meat crispy chicken, and topped with our signature gravy and three cheese blend. Great flavors come together at KFC. This is the awesome Cadillac Escalade. And these are the keys to the awesome Cadillac Escalade. On April 23rd, we gave away a brand new 2007 Cadillac Escalade and a whole bunch of other great prizes. Now our win a Cadillac promotion is back, so if you missed it last time, sign up now at PartyPoker.net. PartyPoker.net, the world's largest poker school. Tonight at Red Roof Inn, Bill stays in a business king room. Look at his space. And feels like a business king himself. Multitasking. Chances of me working are remote. Don't miss the redesigned, rededicated Red Roof Inn and a core hotel. Top half of the fifth inning, and Manny Ramirez leading it off with a swing and a miss against Brent Myers. They surrender just one hit through the first four innings. Willie Mopena is the only Boston hit. In fact, he's been the Red Sox only base runner against Myers tonight. Manny, a strikeout victim his first time up, one of two Ks tonight for Myers. Hit he singled through the right side into right field. And that has been it. And he lifts it down the right field line, bending foul towards the pole. And back into the seats. And the Phillies coming into tonight's action have lost four straight. Last night to the loss for John Lieber, their starting pitcher, allowed five runs on. Three home runs to the Red Sox. One good thing for Charlie Manuel, his bullpen pitching four scoreless innings last night. They're still have played pretty well though since April 19th. The Phillies are tied for the third most wins in the National League with 17. 13 and 6 in their last 19, which included a nine game winning streak at one point. And he hits it hard and picked in the back end and a hop by Rollins who throws out Manny. Rollins an outstanding defensive shortstop picks a hot shot from Ramirez and throws him out. And that was a bullet off the bat of Manny Ramirez and a great play by Rollins going to the back end. In between hop just casually spins around and throws Ramirez out at first base. Right fielder Trump Dixon. Six in a row retired by Myers. A little help from his friends. Nixon popped out to the shortstop his first time up. Has had three straight no decisions. His last win was on April 23rd as Nixon skies one to deep left. Bat Burl back with room. And there's two down in the inning. It's time now for our next three pitch by pitch. And we'll look back at the matchup between Beckett and the Ryan Thompson in the last at bat. Beckett starts, excuse me, Ryan Howard. Beckett starts about with a breaking ball that misses, a breaking ball for a strike, a changeup. 
that had him a little bit out in front bounces another change up and then blows the fastball by him up and away the pitch sequence is brought to you by X3 the last stand opens in theaters May 28. Two down in the inning for Jason Veritek. Who the heck is Ryan Thompson. He was a pitcher was he. Yeah. That would have been much easier at bat if it had been Ryan Thompson. <laughs> Used to be uh, an outfielder for the Mets, actually. Ryan Thompson. Thanks. What was he, pitcher, outfielder? What was it? <laughs> it was a Justin Thompson, I think, is who I was thinking of, the pitcher. But Ryan Thompson played for the Mets. Well, that's, that's Ryan uh, Howard that's right Ryan there. Ryan Howard, though. And he was in our uh, pitch by pitch sequence. Veritek grounding it off the pitcher. Myers has time to recover and throws out Veritek. In order to go to the Red Sox, it's a 1 0 Phillies lead. The once in a lifetime launch spectacular featuring the all new Camry and Yaris. We're making room for the new models, so great deals are going on now. Great deals on the fuel efficient Toyota Corolla with a 41 miles per gallon rating. And right now, you could save with special 3.9% financing on a reliable Corolla. Or you could get the same low financing on the stylish Toyota Matrix Wagon. Hurry, Toyota's launch spectacular ends May 31st. See your New England Toyota dealer now. It's time to move forward. Wouldn't it be nice to be rewarded for your business? Business owner banking from Sovereign Bank does just that. You can get free business checking with 300 free transactions a month, free cash deposit processing, and our best personal checking account with preferred rates and discounts free. Get business owner banking today and we'll give you a free first order of checks up to a $100 value. See? Rewards are nice. Business owner banking. A more rewarding business relationship. Sovereign Bank. Announcing the once-in-a-lifetime Toyota Launch Spectacular. Now joining our ultra-efficient hybrid lineup, the all-new Camry Hybrid with an EPA-rated 40 miles per gallon, along with Highlander Hybrid and Prius, America's best-selling hybrid. Hurry, it all ends soon. It's time to move forward. Sox baseball and Nesson is brought to you by your local Subaru dealers by Sovereign Bank the official bank of the Red Sox cable network and by your Lincoln Mercury dealers and one nothing Phillies lead as we head to the bottom of the fifth inning and the pitching line brought to you by Nissan in the comparison only the three hits given up by Beckett in the run but Myers has only given up one hit to the Red Sox for the first five. 54 pitches for Myers. And the only hit for the Red Sox belongs to Willie Mopena. Carlos Ruiz leading it off for the Phillies here in the bottom of the fifth. Ruiz reaching on a fielder's choice in the second inning. Carlos Ruiz will not forget his first major league hit. That came off Pedro Martinez of the New York Mets. As the Phillies go to play the Mets at the end of this three game series with the Red Sox. Top two teams in the division. Ruiz was leading the International League in batting average at 385 and second in home runs with six. The Scranton Wilkesbury Red Barons would have got called up when Mike Lieberthal was placed on the DL. He's called up on May 5th. Ground back to Beckett, who picks it and throws out Ruiz. 
Tonight after our Red Sox coverage, tune in to Nesson for Sports Desk presented by FW Webb, distributor of plumbing and heating supplies since 1866. Among the topics tonight, highlights of the second leg of horse racing's Triple Crown, the Preakness, the UMass lacrosse team faces Hofstra in the NCAA quarterfinals, and a full recap of today's interleague action in Major League Baseball. These stories and more are coming up on Sports Desk tonight after our Red Sox coverage. One down for the pitcher, Brett Myers. He struck out swinging his first time up. The Phillies kind of started the year as a veteran ball club. They started without any rookies on the roster. And so because of some injuries that has certainly changed Phillies now have three rookies on their 25 man roster. And a pitcher Cole Hamels. South Philly Chris Roberson who we saw last night. And uh, Carlos Ruiz who just uh, grounded out back to the mound. So three of them called up by the Phillies and having a chance to play with the injuries to the Phillies. Phillies right now two pitchers and two position players on the DL Lieberthal. And Rowan the position players. Line and timing is Luke making the catch. Mark Loretta two down. Well, both pitches have made contact to the opposite field tonight. Beckett once to a right field, and now Myers, a soft line drive that had to be timed by Mark Loretta. He'll go back. Knows he's not hit that hard. Make the leap and make the catch. <laughs> Myers checking his fingernails after that. Must have caught it toward the end of the bat. Two down for Jimmy Rollins. Rollins had his 38 game hitting streak come to an end on April the 6th. They carried over from last year. Now he has a base hit into right field this time. Rollins with a wide turn at first, a two out single in the fourth hit of the night for the Phillies off Josh Beckett. And Rollins, I'm sure, will try to turn this quickly into a double as he probably try to steal off Beckett. Gets the curveball and shoots it in the right field for the base hit. So we'll see if Buckley takes a strike for Rollins, gives him a chance to steal second base. Buckley is the difference in this one as he hit a home run with two down in the third inning. His ninth home run of the season. His career he's hit more home runs in the month of May than any other month. Now 14 home runs in his career in May. As they check on Rollins, trying to keep him close. I think the best defense here may to have Big Poppy try to talk his ear off over there at first base. It's two steals in his last 19 games. That's a big lead. Beckett waiting him out and time called as Utley backs out. Lojack is back for another season. For every run of the Red Sox catch stealing, you have a chance to win a Lojack stolen vehicle recovery system. Log on to Nesson.com and enter the day the opponent and run his name for your chance to win in the Lojack caught stealing sweepstakes. Well, the first relatively close as Rollins did indeed have another long lead, but he does get back. Only been one attempt so far this season against Beckett, and base runners are 0 for 1. Pretty close. Poppy applying the tag on the elbow while the fingers get on the bag. That is very, that's a that's very close to being a spin move that Josh Beckett uses on that throw to first base. Pretty quick feet on that pickoff attempt. 
the try. And not in time, Rollins back again. See, Rollins uses that open stance. The right leg on the back than the left leg, and of course, it makes that crossover back to the bag to just a split second longer. Rollins' bluffs doesn't go, and the pitch is strike to Chase Utley. Utley has been patiently waiting another pitch, and he takes a strike. Seven years old. Last year had 28 home runs and 105 runs batted in. in. His fourth season here with the Phillies. The Philadelphia first round pick, 15th overall back in 2000. There goes Rollins. The pitch is a ball, and the throw down from Veritek is not going to be in time. That pitch to work with for Jason Veritek as Rollins steals second. That was a change up from Beckett. It was back to back change ups, and this one's going to be down toward the dirt. Not a great jump by Rollins, but the off speed pitch certainly helped. Gonzalez coming way out in front of that second base bag to take that throw. Well, three and one the count to Utley. Bobby Abreu waits on deck. The dirt looked like he wanted to swing. They'll appeal. He didn't go, says Phil Cuzzy. And down to first base goes Utley on the walk. It's the second walk of the night given up by Josh Beckett. So far in this game tonight, it looks like Beckett's had a little bit more trouble controlling the curveball than he did in his last outing against Baltimore. His fastball has been excellent, but the curveball has not quite been there for him. Bouncing that one, Veritek blocks it. That'll keep uh, Rollins at second base. So first and second two down and here's Bobby Abreu. He's grounded out to third base and struck out swinging tonight. With the two out single, he stole second. Utley the walk, first and second, two down. Runs it outside, and it's two and zero. Oh. Bray was gone 74 at bats without a home run. Been had one since April 19th, and Bray with only four on the season. Now Veritek's going to head out and talk to Josh Beckett. Gives us a chance to check out the league leaders brought to you by Olympia Sports. Our base percentage the category and Bobby Abreu while the power numbers are not spectacular for him. At 450 only behind Bonds and Pujols in the National League. Of course, Barry Bonds today gets number 714 finally after a long wait. And there are a lot of writers glad he's got it because they can now <laughs> leave. They've been hanging around Bonds for what a couple of weeks. Nick Cafardo can finally come home. Unless they want him out there until he gets one more than uh, Babe Ruth. <laughs> I'd like to be on that duty. Oh my goodness. And having to fall Barry around is not exactly the most pleasant interview to have to deal with, even when good things happen. I'd be throwing stuff like every at bat, throw him a strike, and you know, every time he pops up, throw something down on the ground. Please, end this. End this stuff. I want to go home. I'm not that interested. <laughs> Don't you kind of feel that's it around baseball, too? Oh, uh, yeah. Not a lot of interest? No, at all. He 
Three and one the count. Rollins at second base, Utley at first. Bobby Abreu is 0 for 2 tonight. A 1 0 Phillies advantage as they bat here in the fifth. the ground softly Ortiz has it will flip to Beckett who covers the bag for the out and Beckett with the fist pump as he gets out of the jam runners left at first and second for the Phillies one nothing Philadelphia know the score before the game tune in Olympia Sports presents the Boston Globe pregame report for analysis player features commentary and more Olympia Sports presents the Boston Globe pregame report one hour before game time on Nesson. Squirrels. Squirrels. Been there. Repellents and fertilizers. That'll bring your garden back. We're here because we've been there with tools and local advice to get it done right. True value. Start right. Start here. Start your projects right with great name brands at your locally owned New England True Value stores. True Value. Start right. Start here. The Red Sox Report with Don Orsillo goes beyond the highlights, taking fans inside the team to places they've never been before. Wherever the Sox go, we'll take you there. The Red Sox Report presented by CBS Sunday and Monday nights only on Nesson. Fast, aggressive, relentless. Fire has no equal. Or does it? The strongest truck with unmatched might and Ford Super Duty, the ultimate heavy duty pickup. It outpulls, outmuscles, outperforms the competition. Now, Super Duty works even harder at the pump with a $2,000 gas card, which gives you $4,500 in total savings on Ford Super Duty. Sixth inning back in Philadelphia. And the only hit so far tonight for the Red Sox belongs to Willie Mo Pena. He leads it off in the sixth inning. The only base runner tonight for the Red Sox. Willie Mo Pena's leadoff single in the third. He was quickly erased as Alex Gonzalez grounded into a double play. David Ortiz with the underhand flip to Beckett to get a Abreu in a big situation and Beckett celebrating uh, almost fell after that first uh, fist pump. So so far big poppy clean down there at first base in his two games. For four here last night as he grounds one foul. And it's one and two to the Red Sox center fielder. Brent Myers with 13 victories last year, coming in at two and one into tonight's action. He's not had much run support, and that's the case again tonight. And the Phillies getting just one run so far for him. A swing and a miss. Third strikeout for Brett Myers. He gets Willie Moe. And we check in with Tom Karen. Tom. Thanks, Don. It's our New England Toyota dealer game break. As you know by now, Barry Bonds at long last has tied Babe Ruth with his 714th homer. It came in the second inning off Brad Halsey of Oakland. The 420th pitcher was given up a homer to Bonds. Don. Back in Philadelphia, where the Phillies have the one nothing advantage. He's striking out Willie Mopena, his third K in the night. He's not walked anybody and given up just the one base hit. 
Actually, I'll be looking forward to getting back to the hotel tonight and check out some of the uh, action from today because we didn't really get a chance to see the home run and the fight, uh, the fight and of course the meltdown by Wagner in that uh, Met game, which we did get a chance to see, and that was pretty ugly. Part of it, yeah, I saw part of it down in the Red Sox clubhouse. And grounded foul outside of third. Plus, that's if we get back to the hotel tonight. That that's was a little bit of an issue last <laughs> night. I, don't, I, you know, I just can't catch my bearings in no. Philadelphia. I don't know what it is. Very confusing. We went by Philadelphia once, ended up headed towards New Jersey. Came back. Came back. Made a couple curbs. <laughs> I know it's one of those. It's strange. I mean, it's got me all messed up. I, you look across the river. That's New Jersey. I can't tell if we're north or south, and I don't know downtown well enough to, you know, be able to navigate with an automobile. I notice the more lost we get, the worse your driving gets. <laughs> I, I'm very well. Of course, <laughs> I, I, my patience is not. Oh come on! Too <laughs> short. Rollins throws it up and into the seats. The second base will go Alex Gonzalez. Well, that's certainly a break. That, that should have been a routine out and an error. Will be charged to Rollins' his third of the season. And you could see when this ball left his, his hand, it was going to just airmail up over that dugout. That's a helpless feeling. As soon as you let it go, you know that it's gone and it can't be retrieved. And over the last five seasons, he's had the second fewest errors among Major League shortstops. Only Cesar's Torres has made less errors. His Torres with 47 and Rollins with 63 over the last five years. So one down, Gonzalez in scoring position at second base. Here's Josh Beckett. Beckett lined out to right field his first time up. Shallow for Beckett as Victorino, the center fielder, shallow and into right center. And that is coming off the mound strangely that time, kind of spinning off as he falls behind 2 and 0. Now we'll see. We'll see if that error breaks his momentum. Had great momentum going in this game, and we'll see if that upsets him at all. In the landing foot area. Sitting in the right center for a base hit. Gonzalez coming around. The throw is cut off and then throw to the plate not in time. Beckett helping out his own cause and tying the game at one. Well, Myers fell behind. Two balls and no strikes. Beckett knows he's going to get a fastball. And a pretty nice swing. Inside out swing hit by Beckett. Puts it out into left, excuse me, right center field and picks up his 12th career run batted in. So a huge break on the throwing error by Rollins, the then pitcher of all people, Beckett, making him pay with the base hit and driving in the run. As you mentioned, 12 career RBIs, six last year for Beckett. That's amazing what can change momentum in a game. And you know, Myers was just floating around in this game like he's going to give up one hit all night. You get an error, all of a sudden it's a tie ball game. Everything changes. And again, getting no run support tonight. This is on the ground left side and off the glove of Bell. And knocked down, but reaching at first base will be Euclid. Where's all the smoke coming from? I don't know. Is there some kind of fire out there behind left field? A bunch of smoke has come across the outfield from left to right. Everybody kind of looking out in that direction too. Who are up in that uh, those bleachers? By the way, that goes as a base hit for Kevin Euclid. Something going on back there. Too, seems like too much smoke to be a barbecue. Well, it looks like a dumpster has caught fire oh, you know, on somebody, the left field line, and that's yeah. Somebody probably threw a button there or something. It's down one of the ramps down the left field line. That's why it's coming across. Yeah. 
So runners at first and second, one down in the inning. Mark Loretta has done the same thing twice tonight. That's fly out to center fielder Shane Victorino. Yeah, you can smell now the uh, the burning from that uh, dumpster. Strike and Loretta quickly down, nothing in two. Myers trying to regain his bearings here. After really being flawless through the first five innings, giving up just the one hit. And this two by shortstop Jimmy Rollins, and momentum has shifted. Beckett drives in the game tying run. Euclid at first base, Beckett at second, one down. And Loretta taking the ball. And get no further. He was making sure that was going to get down. It did, and the Red Sox had the bases loaded with one ball. And that's a pretty good piece of hitting by Loretta. That's a good curveball from uh, Brett Myers, but Loretta swerves it out to the opposite field. So he keeps a hitting streak now at five games. But the pitcher at second base and Beckett, you know, they're not used to running the bases. Now he's going to kind of freeze right here. I think most base runners would have known that was going to drop in because you always check the outfield. So one base at a time for the Red Sox. And a chance for Big Poppy. Timeout being called. Maybe Beckett wants a jacket. Yeah, he does. He's been out on those bases for a while now, and he will don the jacket. And the base is loaded here and one down in the sixth. David Ortiz 0 for 2. He has struck out, fly to center. Myers with the first pitch strike. Ortiz with 14 homers and 37 RBIs coming into tonight. Victorino very shallow in center field for Ortiz. Look at that. Uh, he's playing almost everybody in about the same spot. So he must have tremendous confidence in going back on the ball. Don't see too many people playing Big Poppy shallow. Myers really taking a long time now between pitches. Josh Beckett at third base, Kevin Euclid at second, Mark Loretta at first. Red Sox have tied the score one to one. Ortiz fouling it to the backstop, down nothing in two. Only career grand slam that uh, Myers has allowed. Was against Manny Ramirez, and that was last year, right here in Philly. Manny waits on deck. Ortiz grounding it foul outside of first. And David's 14 home runs tied for second in the American League with Johnny Gomes of the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. So tied with Johnny Gomes for road home runs, eight on the road, tied for the most in the American League. That's a ball in his younger days that David Ortiz would chase. You know, they get a couple of strikes on him, they pitch him up and in, and he chased that pitch and couldn't get at it. No balls, two strikes, trying to get him to go up and out of the zone. 
Just missing Home by Ruiz and it's two and two now to Ortiz. This is filled with Red Sox with one down. Ortiz jacks it to right. The Brayu back still going. You leap and make the catch. Tagging it third and scoring is Beckett to give the Red Sox the lead. Heck of a play here by Bobby Abreu on a hard line drive. That was a change up to David Ortiz. And of course, immediately going back to third base as Beckett's a tag. Now you look at Euclid hung up in the middle. He thought the ball was going to get over his head. But of course, uh, always safe now with two outs. He's still in scoring position at second base. Second sacrifice fly of the season for David Ortiz, who picks up his 38th RBI. It looks like Euclid was confused on that, but that's actually a good base running play because if the ball gets over his head, you're playing it halfway, you're going to score. And a questionable ball uh, with one out like that. If there's nobody out, you go back immediately to tag up because you want to get the third base. The strike, and it's one and one now to Manny. Well, Josh Beckett. All over this rally here for the Red Sox in the sixth inning. He drives in the tying run, then scores the go ahead run on the sacrifice fly by Ortiz. Now, this could have been an easy one, two, three inning. He had the immediate strikeout, then the error. And if that results in an out, then you get the pitcher as the third guy in the order. You might have a one, two, three inning. Has not been the same since the year. Even the out for Ortiz, a ringing line drive to right field that Abreu had to make a pretty good play on back on the track. Two big RBI guys, Beckett and Ortiz. The breaking ball up, and it's three and one now to Ramirez. Seems here in the middle innings, Amaya is going more to his curveball than he certainly did back early in the game. It was mostly fastballs, cut fastballs earlier. More curveballs, more changeups now. Nixon waits on deck, two down in the inning. Ball four, and he walks Manny to load the bases. Stay tuned after the game for W.B. Mason's Extra Innings and Granite City Electric's Extra Innings Extra with Tom Karen and Dennis Eckersley. They'll bring you all of the post-game reaction, including Josh Beckett's comments and Terry's take with Tina Sabatio, plus highlights from Flushing Meadows as Pedro Martinez and the Mets face the Yankees this afternoon. It's all right after the game, T.C. and Eck. Flushing Meadows. Uh, it sounds better than Queens, I guess. <laughs> Nixon batting with the bases loaded here in the top half of the sixth inning. Red Sox have taken the lead now looking for more. So yeah, Tron Nixon has seen a lot of first pitch off speed stuff whether it be change ups or breaking balls everybody knows he's a dead fastball hitter. The ground and throw into right field a base hit. Euclid's from third scores. Here comes the runner. Red Sox lead it four to one. Pat Nixon with the two RBIs with two down in the inning. And again on the fastball. You know he missed on a change up on the first pitch. Nixon can sit on the fastball on pitch number two and he finds that hole. That fastball tailing away, but Nixon still hooking it. And by the dive of Chase Utley. What a turnaround in this game. And it all turned around with an E6. Very 
Sure handed shortstop. Getting it all started for the Red Sox. Jason Veritek now the ninth man to bat in the inning for Boston. Veritek has popped out to third and grounded back to the mound. Only at second. Nixon at first. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 2. Veritek with a home run here last night. Seemingly turning the corner on what has been a tough offensive season for Veritek. Another long extended uh, early hitting session in Baltimore. Yeah, as part of this road trip was out very early at Camden Yards and appeared to be feeling better at the plate. And into right field a base hit. Ramirez being held by Hill and is bobbled for a moment by Abreu. The man had already been stopped and the Red Sox have the bases loaded. Now the problem here is you know Manny sees the stop sign and when he sees it his head drops because he knows he's going to stop at third base. Meanwhile there's a bobble by Abreu and then DeMarlo Hale wants to wave him on but he can't because it's too late. Now he's going to stop and watch now Manny stops puts his head down heads back to third base and you see Hale wanting to take him want him to go but he can't because he's always on his way back to third. And hard to blame Manny on this one you know he stopped. Picks up the play, but he doesn't see DeMarlo Hale waving him on, so he has to go back to third base. It'd have been too late anyway. That's it up in the Phillies pen, the right hander. First time the Phillies have had action tonight, to say the least. As Myers had only given up one hit through the first five innings, and it was to Willie Mopena. Moe struck out swinging to begin the inning as the Red Sox four for four tonight with runners in scoring position. Popped up right side. Howard makes the catch it ends the inning but the damage done. Red Sox scored four times and lead it four to one. I was thinking, yeah. you know, sometimes you find something so special and you just want to hold on to it. Beautiful on the outside, sure, but even more beautiful on the inside. And you just want to lock it up forever. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> These can liners really lock in that Rocky Mountain taste. <laughs> hey, uh, while you're up, grab me a beer. Every Coors Light can have a specially designed liner to lock in that frost brewed Rocky Mountain taste. Sweet. Coors Light. Taste the cold. Take the lead. 2006 Ford F-150. No other truck can claim this much power, unmatched might, balanced with total comfort. This is the strongest truck in its class. F-150 works even harder at the pump with a $2,000 gas card. Plus, we'll make your first month's payments, which gives you $4,500 in total savings on F-150. Uh, I thought all those reports had to be done by noon. That they do. It's 11.50, Jerry. That Rico MFP prints at 55 pages per minute. Job ready by 11.59. 11.59. Like to push the envelope. Uh-huh. Move your ideas forward with Rico Dependability. Great teams get it done with hard work, passion, and a desire to be the best. We've got a great team, too. Hardworking and passionate about bringing you the best news coverage in Connecticut. Right team, right time. Fox 61 News at 10. NFL football, UConn basketball, the thrills of NASCAR, and Major League Baseball all the way to the World Series. The best teams in sports and Connecticut's best sports team. When sports excitement happens, Connecticut knows it happens on Fox 61. Back at Citizens Bank Park where this game summary is brought to you by your local Lincoln Mercury dealers. Well, a very good pitching matchup tonight. Josh Beckett been very good so far tonight. And Brett Myers had given up just one hit through the first five innings. But the error committed at shortstop by Jimmy Rollins opens the floodgates for the Red Sox to come up with four runs in the top half of this, the sixth inning. 
Howard leading it off in the last half of the sixth. Josh Beckett knocking in the tying run and then on a sacrifice fly by David Ortiz scoring the go ahead run. Red Sox will get two more runs on the single by Chot Nixon. 87. When you see that 87 from Josh Beckett, that's his changeup. He's, you know, 87, 88. That's a hard changeup. And I guess enough of a difference between that and his 95, sometimes 96 mile per hour fastball. On the ground, the shift on. It's Gonzalez on the right side of the infield. Who throws out. And Howard for the first out of the sixth. Now, just to give a comparison, and again, that was a changeup for Beckett to induce the ground ball. With Pedro Martinez, remember those games where he was throwing 94, 95 miles an hour? His changeup was at 78. You can imagine how difficult that was to pick up. Here's the changeup again from Beckett. Down and away, and uh, Howard trying to hook the ball, and he hooks it right into the ship. Well, if you think uh, Pedro, I've heard you say before, had uh, at his, when he was at his best, probably maybe the best change up in the game. Oh, absolutely. Still does. Yeah. Still does. He was dealing today. You know, the velocity is what it once was. But uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, but one thing about Pedro, he always knew how to pitch. In the air to right field off the bat of Burl. And Nixon in and over to make the catch. There's an old saying in baseball, uh, you know, you'll hear it out of dugouts, bow your neck. I don't know what that means. I don't know how you bow your neck. But anyway, that's what uh, Myers could not do last inning after the error. Bow his neck, bow his neck. <laughs> Ever try to bow your neck? No. no. I haven't either. I don't know how you do it. Well, no ill effects for Beckett, who had the long wait. And of course, uh, he was part of the rally running the bases. He has two outs here in the sixth inning in quick fashion as he now deals with Shane Victorino. Don't hurt yourself trying to bow your neck. After I take a ride in the mechanical bull, I'm going to try to bow my neck after. <laughs> it's a popped up foul off to the left. Torino is grounded out to second base. Fly to the warning track in right field. 0 for 2. On the ground softly at Ortiz who continues to be flawless at first base. In order go the Phillies in the bottom of the six. Red Sox on top 4 to 1. 1955 Pineview Homes has offered affordable energy efficient homes throughout central Maine. That's right, 51 years, three generations, and thousands of Maine families enjoying home ownership. New this year at Pineview Homes, look for the Energy Star label. What this means to our buyers? Independently verified to be at least 30% more energy efficient and access to special financing opportunities. Energy Star, saving the earth, saving your money. Pineview Homes, Route 201, Winslow, Maine. Don't you wish you had one of them crystal balls so you could see what deals was coming to Madden's before they got there? Well, you do, dear. It's called a computer. See, Madden's has this new deal. Go to maddensurplus.com, give them your email address, tell them what you're wishing for, your heart's desire, and they'll let you know when they're getting in a shipment of them very things so you won't miss them. Oh, the future's coming up roses, dear, and I'm going to go get it. I should have bought it when I saw it at Martin's. One day we may look back and realize that getting so much for so little started right here at Quark Hyundai. Introducing the all-new Azera, a Hyundai like you've never seen before. Backed by America's best warranty, 10 years or 100,000 miles. Azera, incredibly equipped at just 23,874. It may be the most car for the money, ever. Take the Hyundai Challenge at Quark Hyundai, Haskell Road, Bangor. Jack Spring Cleaning at Quirk Chevrolet. And you can clean up on new Chevy cars and trucks. Unbeatable Quirk deals and Chevrolet's down payment assistance plan can save you up to $12,000. Think you can clean up like this anywhere else? Then you don't know Jack. Quirk Chevrolet, Hogan Road, Bangor. 
You know this is what you want, but there's just one thing missing. Ford buyers rejoice. Quirk works for you at Quirk Ford of Augusta. No matter what it takes, Quirk Ford's going to put you in a new Ford. Quirk Ford, Lower Main Street, Augusta, just down from the Capitol, where Quirk works for you. Alex Gonzalez leading it off. It's his ground ball that Jimmy Rollins fielded, but uh, threw away and got it all started as it turned out for the Red Sox. Red Sox baseball on Nesson is brought to you by your New England Toyota dealers, by Heineken, and by Hyundai. Red Sox with six hits off Myers, who had given up just one through the first five innings, gave up five in the inning, in which the Red Sox scored four times. Runs are unearned for Myers, who came in with a nifty 2.73 earned run average into tonight's action, fifth in the National League. Johnson Arroyo first in that category. Now we've all been in that position where you make a costly error, and then the pitcher just can't seem to get anybody out after that. And you're out there begging, please get somebody out. All those runs unearned, of course, for Myers. Back to Myers able to field and throw out Gonzalez for the first out. So one down for Beckett. No single tied the game but scored Alex Gonzalez from second base. Into third on the infield hit for Euclid. Actually went to second on the infield hit by Euclid to third on the single by Loretta and then scored on the sacrifice fly by David Ortiz. Which gave the Red Sox a 2 1 lead at the time. Aaron Foltz we saw last night joining Ryan Madsen in the pen. Pitch's spot comes up a third next inning, so this will be the last inning for Brett Myers. Brett Myers, 25 years old, he'll turn 26 in August. A 13 game winner last year, and now in his fifth season with the Phillies. First round pick by the Phillies, 12th overall pick back in 1999. Most games he's won in the majors, a 14 game winner back in 2003. He's 14 and 9 in his first full season in the majors. In the air to deep left field. Beckett is taking it deep, and it is gone. Josh Beckett hits a home run to put the Red Sox on top five to one. Oh, is there going to be some razzing going on in that Red Sox dugout? His second career home run. Can't do it much better than Beckett's done it tonight. He'll be ignored as Euclid was a year ago. And he doesn't care. He's got the lead and the home run. And here is Euclid. Man, did he have a turn on that pitch? You know, every pitch had been away to him. His first hit was away. Then he tried to come inside with a fastball, and Beckett pulls it. Quickly got ahead of him 0 and 2, and then finally a ball inside, almost like Beckett was looking for it in there. He knew he got it too. What a night for Josh Beckett. Now enjoys the 5 1 lead as the Red Sox continue to bat here in the top half of the seventh. Oh, 
All the starch is out of Myers now. It started last inning, and that home run uh, just probably took the rest of it out. In the air to right field, sending Abreu back to the track at the wall. It is off the wall and kicks away from Abreu and Victorino. Rukel is headed for third base, and he gets there standing. And that's got to draw booze from this crowd in Philly. Abreu. You know, I know the wind's blowing in that direction, but he coasted after that ball. He just drifted after it, and the ball's going to find its way over his head. Charlie Manuel coming out. He'll probably pull a double switch here, or maybe, maybe not. Maybe just go ahead and take him out of the game. But here's Abreu kind of dragging back after it, and the ball's hit harder than he thinks, and it lands in a position where he could have made a catch on it. This call to bullpen is brought to you by your local Ford store. Every journey begins with a bold move. Start your journey today by visiting your local Ford store. To the bullpen goal, the Phillies with the Red Sox on top in this one now five to one. With one out in the seventh inning, we step aside from Philadelphia. Remember the days when it cost just five bucks to see a game at Fenway? When you had your choice of seats and could easily take the whole family? Well, it's not just in the past, it's in the future. Futures at Fenway is a family festival featuring the Lowell Spinners and the Pawtucket Red Sox in an old-fashioned doubleheader. Tickets are on sale now, and yes, they start at just $5. So come on out August 26 for Futures at Fenway. You bring the family, we'll supply the fun. It's a great time to be a sports fan in New England, and it's a great time to work at Nesson, your New England sports network. In fact, we're looking for more champions, players to be named later, just like you. So log on to Nesson.com, click on the jobs link, and check out our career opportunities available. It takes all kinds of talent to get the job done here at Nesson, so if you think you've got the skills to join the Nesson team, give us your best shot, because Nesson is scouting. Tomorrow afternoon at 12.30, Olympia Sports presents the Boston Globe pregame report with Tom Karen and Dennis Eckersley. They'll break down the pitching matchup between Lenny Donardo and Corey Lytle and bring you the rematch replays of the week. Plus, the Boston Globe's Gordon Eads will give you the latest news from the Sox clubhouse. It's all tomorrow at 12.30 on Nesson. Now one down here in the seventh inning with the Red Sox on top now five to one and the new pitcher on for Philadelphia Ryan Madsen. He really started the season in the starting rotation. He made six starts had a three one record but his ERA was almost seven. Since that time moved to the bullpen he's given up a lot of hits 53 hits in 33 innings and he's his career numbers working out of the bullpen which are pretty good. We're here at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Don Orsillo with Jerry Remy and Tina Servasio bringing you Red Sox baseball in high definition on Nesson. Red Sox have been shut down by Brett Myers through five innings. He'd only given up one hit. Boston gets to him for four runs in the sixth. And it has been the Josh Beckett offensive explosion tonight. Along with his great pitching, the Red Sox have a 5 1 lead. The infield in all the way around with Euclidus at third base. Yeah, Mark Loretta the batter. First home run for a Red Sox pitcher incidentally since September 26th of 1972 and Marty Patton hit one for the Red Sox. Josh Beckett has hit one here tonight with one out in the inning. Wasn't 72 the last year pitches hit. Before the DH was applied in the American League. Yes. It's one and one now to Mark Loretta, who's one for three tonight. I'm not sure since Terry Francona has been here, and I could be wrong. I don't think we've seen a squeeze, have we? I don't think we have, no. Can you go even further back than that. Um, did Grady ever? Yeah, I think he squeeze? did, yeah. Now if you were gonna if you were inclined to do it, you would do it here on a two one count.
I wouldn't bet my house on it, though. You have a very nice house, too. How do you know? You've never been there. I've <laughs> seen pictures. In the air to left field, Burl on the move into left center. He makes the catch, tagging his Euclid. He will score. And the Red Sox lead it 6 to 1. Loretta picks up RBI number 19. Now, you know, last night, uh, Kevin Euclid sits out. He comes in tonight, got two hits. Mike Lowell had uh, on base four times last night, not playing tonight. So whoever they put in there is giving him some production. Funny, you could see the body language just completely changed for Brett Myers. He was in complete control of this game until that throwing error. Then things went downhill after that. And once Beckett hit the home run, it was like, that's it, I've had enough. He was charged with that run. The first five unearned tonight for Myers after the error by Rollins. Ortiz did not offer, says Phil Cuzzy. They do the sacrifice fly in the sixth. So Myers, six and a third, seven hits, six runs. Walked one and struck out three. Funny the other day Francona was speaking about his pitches of course you have to hit and he's mentioning a few names and he said you know Beckett actually come up and said I'm a good hitter. Tito didn't believe him. <laughs> he's shown it tonight hasn't he. Sure has. Yeah, been a big part of this one tying the game and then scoring the go ahead run and adding a home run later. This one down the left field line. In towards the corner Ortiz. Headed towards second as Burl digs it out. But not before Big Poppy's into second base with a two out double. So two down, Ortiz at second, and here's Manny. Struck out swinging, grounded out to short, and walked tonight. To talk to his catcher as he calls for Carlos Ruiz to come out. Well, they were certainly not on the same page uh, on that first pitch at all. A number of shakeoffs by Madsen. Madsen last year finishing second among National League relievers in innings pitch with 87. Well, 78 games last year for Madsen. First reliever out of the bullpen tonight for Charlie Manuel. And he goes opposite way. Abreu is there to make the catch to end the inning. The Red Sox come up with two more runs and lead it six to one. It's seven inning stretch. Time now for a sports desk update with Paul Devlin. Thank you, Don. Coming up tonight on Sports Desk, presented by FW Webb, distributor of plumbing and heating supplies since 1866. A stunning chain of events at the Preakness. Barry Bonds ties the babe, plus the Cubs and White Sox have a Windy City brawl. And UMass Lacrosse moves on to the NCAA's Final Four. We'll have that all tonight following Red Sox coverage on Sports Desk, presented by FW Webb.
What could be better than a free checking account? How about one that pays you interest, like free interest checking from Sovereign Bank? It's an interest-bearing account with no minimum balance and no monthly maintenance fee. You get free standard checks, free online banking with bill pay, and a Sovereign Visa check card or ATM card with no annual or monthly fee. Plus, there's no fee to use other banks' ATMs. It doesn't get much better than that. Free interest checking. The name says it all. Sovereign Bank. Great teams get it done with hard work, passion, and a desire to be the best. We've got a great team, too. Hardworking and passionate about bringing you the best news coverage in Connecticut. Right team, right time. Fox 61 News at 10. New England weather can change like that. And when it does, we're on it. For clear, concise forecasts, the choice in Connecticut is clearly Carroll. Making plans? Count me in. Meteorologist John Carroll on Fox 61 News at 10. You think about power. You think about space. Towing capacity. Versatility. Comfort. And rugged reliability. Well, so does Honda. See what happens when great minds think about trucks. Lease a Honda Pilot for $279 a month for well-qualified customers. Red Sox medallions are on sale now, but they're only available with a coupon in the Boston Globe. Medallion coupons will be in the Globe every day through May 21st, but it's never too late to start your collection. For details and participating retailers, check the Globe or visit bostonglobe.com slash Sox medallions. JT Snow taking over defensively at first base as he did last night. Does it here again tonight? Well, the Red Sox now on top, six to one. David Bell leading off here against Josh Beckett, who's thrown now 85 pitches. Six innings, four hits, just the one run. That was the home run by Chase Utley back in the third inning. Right field, Nixon. For the first out here in the bottom of the seventh. If my uh, scorecard is correct, four of his last five outs have come on a changeup. Two last inning to Howard and uh, Victorino, and this one hit a bell. Retired five batters in a row, and now deal with Carlos Ruiz, the catcher. Mickey catcher 0 for 2. He's grounded into a fielder's choice and back to the mound. Last game of the series here tomorrow afternoon. Lenny DiNardo on the mound for the Red Sox. Matched up against Corey Lytle. As this one lined into left field, a base hit. Over play it is Ramirez, but a one out single for Carlos Ruiz. Be interesting after the game as we look at uh, Abraham Nunez coming up to pinch hit. Plus, uh, Beckett will be talking obviously about his pitching, but you can bet that all the writers are going to want to know about is his hitting. Abraham Nunez batting for Ryan Madsen's spot, the number nine spot, the pitcher's spot. J.T. Snow not holding on. Ruiz at first place behind him as Gonzalez goes to second and they'll get the lead runner. Let's check in with Tina Servacio. Tina? So, Don, waiting to see the Red Sox pitcher get, pitchers get their chance to hit during this series. I asked Trot Nixon yesterday who he thought the best hitting Red Sox pitcher was. Now, he gave me an answer but might have a new opinion after tonight's game. I, know, I, I gotta go. I'm going to go with Wake because... Uh, you know, I think Wake takes a little pride in it. You know, obviously Beckett, uh, uh, Beckett's, uh, you know, been over there. He kind of gloats a little too much about his swing, you know, his high school days. But uh, um, uh, I know Wake takes it takes it pretty serious. Derek Lowe was the worst I've ever seen. So I mean, he's kind of guy just sh sh had about an eight foot stride and just slung the bat out there, the ball. Now Jimmy Rollins grounding out to end the inning. We played seven from Philadelphia at 6-1 Boston. 
This is the awesome Cadillac Escalade. And these are the keys to the awesome Cadillac Escalade. On April 23rd, we gave away a brand new 2007 Cadillac Escalade and a whole bunch of other great prizes. Now our win a Cadillac promotion is back, so if you missed it last time, sign up now at PartyPoker.net. PartyPoker.net, the world's largest poker school. You know, Stan, I was thinking. Here comes the light. With all the stuff they do, how do those Rico high-volume copiers stay so dependable? You add paper, Jerry. Oh, right. Move your ideas forward with Rico dependability. The Hyundai Challenge is on. The new Hyundai Elantra beats Corolla when it comes to interior space. You also get standard dual front and front side impact airbags. Do the research. Do the test drive. Do the math. The fuel-efficient Hyundai Elantra costs $2,800 less than a Honda Civic. And Hyundai's award-winning quality lets us offer America's best warranty. You owe it to yourself. Take the Hyundai Challenge. For a short time, get a new Hyundai Elantra with up to $1,500 cash back. But hurry, offer ends May 31st. You are our neighbors. You teach. You cheer. You sacrifice. You help those around you. You love your little corner of the world. Here at Extra Mart, we are proud to serve you. And we thank you for letting us be a part of your community. Come into Extra Mart for the best in Major League Baseball collectibles and a wide selection of baseball cards from Upper Deck and Tops. While you're here, enter to win a trip for two to the 2006 Major League Baseball All-Star Game in Pittsburgh. Remember when tickets to a ball game were five dollars? Well, they will be again at Fenway on Saturday, August 26th. When the Red Sox are on the road, the club will present a minor league doubleheader, Futures at Fenway, as Lowell faces Oneonta, and the Port Sox play Rochester. And yes, tickets not at just five dollars a seat in Fenway Park. Check it out at RedSox.com. Six to one into the top of the eighth inning. Red Sox on top. Aaron Fultz, the third pitcher of the night for the Phillies. We saw Fultz in the ball game last night against the Red Sox. Pitched two innings, allowing three walks. One was intentional, a couple strikeouts. Also had a wild pitch in that game, his 16th appearance of the season. He's claimed him off waivers from the Twins back in 2004. 14 year professional. Funny, I don't remember him with the Twins. Certainly do with the uh, Texas Rangers. Yeah, he was in uh, 55 games with the Twins back in 2004. Hmm. I where I was. Well, you never know. You don't play the Twins all that much. <laughs> they have not seen him at all. But, uh, 55 games with the Twins, three and three. Last year's first year here in Philadelphia. And 62 games out of the Phillies pen was 4 and 0 and in 72 and a third innings. Just broke into the big leagues with the San Francisco Giants back in 2000. Missing away to Nixon and a full count now. Nixon went after it. According to Jerry Crawford, and he strikes out to begin the eighth. Steady diet of breaking pitches from Fultz to uh, Trot Nixon. Slider here. If that ball was foul tipped. Well, they just called it on the swing. Jason Veritek, who has homered five straight years on this date, maybe his last chance. Seven home runs in the five May 20th. But he has homered in and so far tonight has a single and three at bats. I bet you I never had a home run on May 20th. 
<laughs> Swing and a miss, one and two. Do your home runs come early or late? I have no idea. Well, in my career or in a game? No, in your career. Yeah, a lot of them came real early. Four, I think, in one year. Then they expected four every year after that. You couldn't re couldn't produce. You were off by a day. The first career home run was May 19th. Really? Yeah. That was off Jim Perry, I think, in Cleveland. Is he released the next day? You've heard the story. <laughs> he was really released the next day. Frank Robinson's was the manager and he said if that guy can hit a home run off you you can't pitch for me anymore. You're out. Out gone. Gone. And he went to uh, I think he went to Oakland for a little while after that. Back your stuff. Gaylord Perry's brother Jim. Did he have a spitball too or no. No. So May 19th so I thought no. that could have been like Veritek. Could have been just uh, four more years short. It's a puff ball again. You know, I'm getting tired of seeing that puff ball. I'm like rosin on the baseball and it just puffs when it comes out. It probably won't happen now because it doesn't have rosin on his hand. But every time he goes down for that bag. Crawford wanted to call it, didn't he? Looked like he started up to make the call and then decided not to. And hits it out towards center field. Victorino heading back with room to make the catch for out number two. Mason gives it a ride, but he's the second out of the inning. <laughs> two down, and it brings up Willie Mopena. A single back in the third inning off Myers. The only hit given up by the Philly starter through the first five innings. Brent Myers tonight, six and a third, seven hits, six runs. Only two of them earned runs. Walked one and struck out three. And on the hook for this one with the Red Sox on top, six one, batting in the eighth. Chance tonight for Josh Beckett, who has certainly helped out his cause with the bat tonight. That's for him to go six and one. Be curious after the game, maybe Tina could ask him this question: Whose bat was he using? And you know, did they yeah. get their own bat order to the pitchers, or are they using someone else's bat? I wonder where he was in the National League, of course, last year and in the past. Whether he had his own bat supply. I would use like Manny's or David Ortiz's. <laughs> and shot by the mound. Rollins can't get it and is in the shallow center. A base hit this time for Willie Mopena's second hit of the night. Yeah, I don't think even if Rollins makes the play that he's going to be able to throw him out at first base. Once it gets by Fultz, you see uh, Rollins right off the end of the glove, but I still don't think if he comes clean with it, he's going to get Pena at first. Pinch runner Willie Harris, he'll take over for Pena and go into center field defensively. A common copy of last night, isn't it? Well, it is, as the Red Sox with a little more room here on top by five. Sox with that infield hit have their 10th hit of the game. Gonzalez hits one to deep center. Victorino headed back and it is gone. Alex Gonzalez hits his second home run. And the Red Sox lead it 8 to 1. Well, it's been the Florida Marlins tonight. The eight and nine hitters 
Straight away, center field, 401 to straight away and over the 401 for the two run home run. So you had the two out base hit by Pena, the home run by Gonzalez, and another power hitter coming up now in Beckett. I'm glad this inning has been uh, extended because I, I want to know why you would opt to use Manny's bat or Big Poppy's bat. Because there's home runs in those bats. And you think you have the ability to pop one? No, but if you're <laughs> going to use somebody's bats. <laughs> you know, actually, Manny's bat's pretty small and light, and uh, you could probably handle that one. And Big Poppy's a little different. Might be a little too much bat for you. I think so. I could choke up, though. Well, then you'd become a, you probably wouldn't become a power hitter then. Two and two to Beckett. Look over the mound towards Rollins. And he throws to first to end the inning. The two runs in the inning and the two run home run by Gonzalez. Boston on top, eight to one. The once in a lifetime launch spectacular. Come check out four all new Toyotas. We're making room for these new models, so great deals are going on now. Great deals on Sienna. Right now, you could lease one for just $2.29 a month for 36 months with only $19.99 due at signing. That's the lowest payment ever. Or you could save with $1,000 cash back. And that includes Sienna all wheel drive models. Hurry, Toyota's launch spectacular ends May 31st. See your New England Toyota dealer now. It's time to move forward. Just when you think the moment is right, it may have to wait a while. Relax. You have up to 36 hours with Cialis. Cialis is the only erectile dysfunction tablet clinically proven to work up to 36 hours. 36 hours can be the difference between being interrupted and being ready when finally the moment is right. Tell your doctor about your medical conditions and all medications and ask if you're healthy enough for sexual activity. Don't take Cialis if you take nitrates for chest pain, as this may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Don't drink alcohol in excess with Cialis. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help if you experience priapism, an erection lasting more than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease in vision, stop taking Cialis and call your doctor right away. So relax. Time is on your side. 36 hours Cialis. When the moment is right, will you be ready? to one Red Sox on top as we get ready for the bottom of the eighth and it's time now for the Coors Bowl Blast and Josh Beckett his second career home run. They put the Red Sox at the time on top five to one. Put him the cold shoulder as he got into the dugout he does have his own shipment of bats. He's got the number 19 on there, and it is Beckett's bat. So didn't use anybody else's, used his own, and has used it well tonight as he works his way into the bottom of the eighth. Uh, can we see the replay in that home run? I want to make sure it was that same bat. You're not buying into that he used No, I'm not saying bat. that. I'm just curious. I, I, at least we see a bat with 19 on it. Willie Harris in center field defensively down for the Red Sox. As he pinch ran for Willie Mopena, takes over for him in center. Chase Utley leading it off here in the eighth. Utley the only blemish on the night for Josh Beckett is he hit a solo home run back in the third, his ninth home run of the year. I heard a little hurry. 
Horatio Kane in you there doubting. A little bit that uh, perhaps he was using his own bat. I just want to make sure uh, I want to back it up with information uh, that uh, it is you know I, I for some reason I thought he was using a black bat but I could be wrong. That was not a black oh, right. bat that we saw on the ground we saw a 19. So you're saying that I'm not that saying was a bat not the bat. It could very well could have been I just need to see it, uh, it, you know, as they do in crime scene investigations. Yes. So you want all the information possible to make sure you have the story correct and Russ and Mike we please help Horatio out here and perhaps check it out. On to his next pitch. Well, three and one. All right let's take a look. Let's go to the videotape. Yes it is. OK it is his bat. Yeah. All right. We have confirmation. That's good. We should dust it for fingerprints and make sure he used it. <laughs> All tipped into the catcher's mitt. And it's a full count now. That's funny. I saw that because for some reason I thought he was using a black bat, but he was not. Down to first base and off the rubber. JT Snow goes in the right and up the board to begin things here in the end. Charge JT Snow with an error. JT Snow picks up his first error of the season. Very limited playing time at first base uh, now for JT Snow. Certainly not what he expected uh, when coming here to Boston. It appeared like it would be more of a platoon, perhaps, between him and Kevin Euclid. But the injury to Coco Crisp and the way this started uh, the season for Euclid, there's been very little playing time for JT. Well, you know, even Terry Francona said in spring training, he said Euclid was going to get the majority of the playing time, but I didn't think he anticipated the success defensively from Euclid that he's gotten. And also, Euclid has got off to a great offensive start. So the playing time has just not been there for J.T. Snow. Not nearly as much as I think Francona originally planned to give him at first base, which was not going to be the majority of the time, but much more than what he's got. And of course, J.T. would like to go somewhere else to play, and you can certainly understand that. Going to throw 91 pitches coming into the eighth inning. Hartley reaching on the air at first base. Abreu used 0 for 3 in the game tonight. He's grounded out twice and struck out swinging. A swing and a miss, and it's 2 and 2. Julian oh, Tavares up in the Red Sox pen. Warn him for the night. Should warn him right away, even before he starts warming up. Now, Tavares got uh, how many games did he get? Ten games, Ten. and that was for that uh, altercation in spring training when he punched Joey Gathright. I wonder what Barrett's going to get for the punch on uh, Przinsky today. And again, we haven't seen it yet. We don't know if it was really kind of a sucker punch. I, like. Now we hear it was pretty bad. Yeah. Well, Tavares was pretty bad as Gathright was just sort of trying to get up. Side and a full count now. Look at his walk two tonight. He has struck out four. There's seven plus innings. Like his longest outing of the season is seven and a third. He did that at Toronto in a loss. Into the backstop foul. Most pitches he has thrown in any game this year is 105. He did that in a win against Toronto at home back on April 11th. Went around 100 pitches in all of his outings, with the exception of 
Last time out throwing only 80 pitches through the seven innings and the victory at Baltimore at the beginning of this trip. Ball four and the walk to Abreu. Good walk given up tonight by Beckett. First and second, nobody out. Ryan Howard coming up. <laughs> Howard down the left field line. Ramirez heading over towards the corner, and it is gone. Opposite field shot for Ryan Howard. His 13th of the year, a three run shot. And it's now eight to four. Well, nine of his 13 home runs have come right here in Philadelphia. And that's not a bad pitch, it's down and away. And eight of those have been to the opposite field. He's at 106 pitches. It is the most he has thrown in any game this season. Julian Tavares has been warming in the pen, and Terry Francona takes the baseball from Josh Beckett. And eight to four, Red Sox lead with a pitching change from Philadelphia. Can't catch a Sox game stir the week. After an exciting week in the nation, unwind with Rewind. So join me, Hazel May, every week while we highlight the week that was by bringing you Red Sox highlights, interviews, team news, and more. Thanks to catch and bags in the they do that. <laughs> Man, Hazel, you don't miss a thing. <laughs> so remember, be kind and rewind. Granite City Electric's Red Sox Rewind, Monday and Tuesday nights only on Nesson. What is not to love about this pitching staff? We got a veteran rotation up here and all the young arms on the farm. I love this pitching staff. Papelbon, he's so intense on the mound. That guy's got hot. Hey, could the leather be better with Lowell and Loretta? With Yukon the corners, they've got some depth. I really like Loretta in that two hole, and what a glove. Defense is gonna be solid. And Ortiz, that guy always comes through in a clutch. And he's got a great smile. Red Sox baseball in Nesson is brought to you by Bernie and Phil's Furniture, by Affleck, by Coors Light, by Pepsi, by Olympia Sports, the official sporting goods retailer of the New England Sports Network, by Setco, and by Southwest Airlines. And line on Beckett, seven plus innings, six hits, four runs, three of them earned. Walk three and struck out four through a season high 106 pitches. He leaves and Julian Tavares on. Tavares in his 15th appearance for the Red Sox. He's worth 14 and two thirds, 16 hits allowed, and seven earned runs. Last time he worked was against Baltimore. That was back on the 15th, five days ago. Pitched an inning in that game and had a couple of strikeouts. Howard with the three run shot to the opposite field. And it is now an 8 4 Red Sox lead. There's still nobody out here in the eighth. And very quickly up in the bullpen behind Tavares is uh, Mike Timlin getting loose. As all of a sudden this game has closed up dramatically. Has fly to the warning track in right, single to left, and fly to right again. Hey, hey, hey. 
in the dirt and it's two and two now to Pat Burrell. Handed batters have been hitting at 3.43 off Tavares. Not this time for Burroughs. He strikes out the pitch on the outside corner. That's a tailing fastball for Tavares. It looks like it's going to be outside to the right hander, and all of a sudden, enough movement brings it back to the corner. It's when you quit on as a right handed hitter. I think Burrell thought the ball was away. One down here in the last half of the eighth inning. And here's Shane Victorino. Up the middle and into center field, a base hit. His first hit of the night after having gone 0 for 3. For a one out single here in the eighth. Down one on for David Bell. A single to right in the second. Struck out in the fourth and fly to right in the seventh inning. Mars <laughs> coming into tonight and not allowed to run in his last two games and two innings of work. The seats. That time calling time and Crawford uh, alerting Bell to that. Over to the count to Bell. He's missing away and it's a ball and two strikes. Donardo getting the start here tomorrow. He's one and one. Up against Corey Lytle, the right hander who's three and four goes for the Phillies in the final game of the series. Line in the center field, a base hit. Up to second base goes Victorino, and it's back to back hits now for the Phillies. Well, no quitting the Phillies here in the eighth inning. The three run home run by Howard, back to back hits, and still only one out in the inning. David DeLucci is going to pinch hit with runners at first and second and one down for Carlos Ruiz, the catcher. DeLucci at 235 with a home run, four runs batted in. And it looks like Gonzalez has come out on deck to follow him. Well, Philly's trying to come from behind. It was eight to one to begin the inning. It's now eight to four. There's Delucci grounds it foul over by the Phillies dugout. Trade for Delucci happening what right at the end of spring training. Yeah. Robinson Tahana going uh, to Texas. Lucci batted last night 0 for 1 in the series. For 
second in the National League with six pinch hits. And he has been hot five hits in his last nine at bats. Just runs it outside. It's now two and one. And Tavares striking out Burl. And then back to back singles to Victorino and to Bell. And all of a sudden, the Phillies with runners at first and second with one out in the inning. Tavares behind three and one. Continuing to warm in the pen. Ruchu two for three against Tavares lifetime. And the hitters count. Rounds it foul down towards the Phillies dugout. And it's a full count now. Yeah, it might be the last guy he faces because the on deck hit a Gonzalez four for eight against uh, Tavares. But he's also pretty good against Timlin, four for nine with a home run. <laughs> Full count to Delucci with runners at first and second and one down. Rounded down the first baseline, foul. Would love a JT Snow, but a foul ball, and we'll do it again. She has done well in his career against the Red Sox. 306 batting average, three homers. And a chance here to be part of this comeback for the Phillies who have grabbed three runs here in the bottom of the eighth. And have runners at first and second and one down. DeLucci drives it to deep center field. Willie Harris headed back with room. He'll make the catch in front of the track tagging at second base and moving to third is Victorino. And now there's two outs here in the bottom of the eighth. And the pinch hitter will be Alex Gonzalez now with two down in the inning. Dallas at 114, no homers and a run batted in. Came in to pinch hit last night and got a base hit, one for one so far in the series as a pinch hitter. Behind now 2 0. Oh. Alex Gonzalez breaking into the big leagues in 1994 as a member of the Toronto Blue Jays, longtime Blue Jay. And spending three years with the Cubs. Last year with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays in 109 games at 269. On the ground on the third baseline, Euclid on the run and in time to get Gonzalez. And to end the inning, the Phillies come up with three runs. It's 8 4 Boston after eight. Came to spend some time together, reconnect. Like when I met her, dice are hot. Like the names they got. Non stop fun. Wouldn't it be nice to be rewarded for your business? Business owner banking from Sovereign Bank does just that. 
You can get free business checking with 300 free transactions a month, free cash deposit processing, and our best personal checking account with preferred rates and discounts free. Get business owner banking today and we'll give you a free first order of checks up to a $100 value. See? Rewards are nice. Business owner banking. A more rewarding business relationship. Sovereign Bank. I use Bear Paint because their color smart system lets me coordinate colors online. I ordered paint samples online from home and they mail them to my front door. Bear Premium Plus comes with a lifetime guarantee and a great price from the Home Depot. Their stains are extremely durable, so I spend more time enjoying my deck and less time taking care of it. An independent study rated Bear the number one paint brand in America. And that was good enough for us. More and more do-it-yourselfers are discovering a higher standard for their homes. Good, better, Bear. Visit us online or at the Home Depot. Need help with a case, Buck. Any clues? There's this. And this. Hmm. And these. Excellent. With over three and a half million dollars in prizes, the buck doesn't stop here. It starts here. Wait a second. Is there a saddle? How'd you know? Just lucky, I guess. Mystery money from the Connecticut Lottery. Eight to four, Red Sox on top as we head to the ninth inning. And some changes defensively for the Phillies. As Sal Pisano takes over in behind the plate. Carlos Ruiz was hit for. Pisano caught last night in there, catching the new pitcher, Jeff Geary. So Geary last night against the Red Sox pitched an inning, a couple of hits allowed, his 20th appearance overall. Started with the Phillies, was sent back to AAA, and recalled when Santana was put on the DL. Evan Euclid is leading it off in the top of the ninth. Euclid with a couple of hits tonight, an infield single in the sixth and scored, and then he tripled in the seventh inning and came around to score. First career triple for Kevin Euclid. Broken bat pop up, out goes Utley. And he makes the catch for the first out of the ninth. One down for Mark Loretta. One for three tonight with a sacrifice fly. He singled in the sixth inning. Geary, the fourth Phillies pitcher of the night. Brett Myers went six and a third. And Madsen, two thirds of an inning. Aaron Fultz for a full inning. Fultz giving up the two run home run by Alex Gonzalez. The Phillies starter, Brett Myers, allowing six runs to the Red Sox, two of them earned. So after five innings of shutout pitching, allowing just one hit. Chase Utley. Loretta retired, and there's two down in the ninth. Well, so far over the last couple of years, Red Sox have really enjoyed their time here at Citizens Bank Park. And that's a sweep uh, last season, of course. And excellent chance to get two in a row to start this series off. And of course, Josh Beckett, a big part of that, not only with his pitching tonight, but with his offense. JT Snow getting a chance to hit here after he took over defensively for Big Poppy at first base. 190, no homers, and a run batted in for Snow. Well, 
And the ground down the first baseline. It's a fair ball. And off Ryan Howard, it goes towards the corner, kicks off the boxes. And Bobby Abreu plays it. And it's a two out single for JT Snow. Being the left handed first baseman, Howard has to go to the backhand on the dive to try to knock that one down. Looks like he did get a glove on it. That gets by him uh, off the glove and that's the way the ball bounced back to the field. Only a single for JT Snow. Snow has three hits in his last four pinch hitting appearances. And so this is not a pinch hitting appearance coming on for Ortiz last inning, but trying to do the best he can with the limited time he's had at the plate. So he had four starts at first base this season. And the last start he had was on April 22nd at Toronto. And he struck out in the second, grounded out in the fifth, walked in the sixth, and lined out to right in the seventh. For Boston lead is Manny Bats with two outs here in the ninth. Jeff Geary has yet to spend an entire season in the majors, splitting time last year between Triple A Scranton and the majors here in Philly. As Manny foul tips it at the dish. 40 appearances last year for the big club and 10 for the Scranton Wilkesbury Red Barons. Last foul tip will have uh, Fasano singing some high notes. Crawford giving him some extra time. Oh, and two strikes to Manny Ramirez. JT Snow at first base, two down here in the ninth. Tried to hold up, but he offered and strikes out to end things here in the ninth. Red Sox take an eight to four lead into the bottom of the ninth. The thing is, everyone wants to save money on their car insurance. You asking if they want a free Geico quotes like asking if they want free oh, pie and chips. Of course they want free pie and chips. It's pie with chips for free. But pie and chips, uh, you can get them anywhere. Geico quotes. Made from scratch, just for you. Only at Geico.com. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hyundai is taking on Honda and Toyota with the Hyundai Challenge. We're out to prove that our new Sonata is the best value running. Here are the stats. More standard safety features and interior space than a Honda Accord. America's best warranty and $4,500 less than an Accord. You owe it to yourself to check out the fuel-efficient Hyundai Sonata. Before you spend too much on a Honda or Toyota, take the Hyundai Challenge today. During the Hyundai Challenge, get a new Sonata V6 with up to $3,000 cash back. But hurry, offer ends May 31st. I was thinking, yeah. you know, sometimes you find something so special and you just want to hold on to it. Beautiful on the outside, sure, but even more beautiful on the inside and you just want to lock it up forever. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> These can liners really lock in that Rocky Mountain taste. <laughs> Hey, uh, while you're up, grab me a beer. Every Coors Light can have a specially designed liner to lock in that frost-brewed Rocky Mountain taste. Sweet. Coors Light. 
taste the coal. Should we start with the cocktail? I don't drink. Well, then how about a shrimp cocktail? I'm allergic to shellfish. How'd you say you knew my cousin? There's a better way to meet people. Call It's Just Lunch. We'll personally match you with someone who shares your interests, then make all the arrangements for lunch or drinks after work. It's Just Lunch is a terrific thing for people that are busy. You basically show up. It's effortless. It's easy. I just got tired of the bar scene. Too busy to meet people? Call It's Just Lunch. Call now to find out more. Stay tuned after the game for WB Mason's Extra Innings in Granite City Electric's Extra Innings Extra with Tom Karen and Dennis Eckersley. They'll bring you all the post-game reaction, including Josh Beckett's comments and Terry's take with Tina Sebastio. Plus, highlights from Flushing Meadows as Pedro Martinez and the Mets face the Yankees this afternoon. It's all right after the game with TCNX. Defensive changes for the Red Sox. Dustin Moore taking over in left field for Manny Ramirez. And the new Red Sox pitcher for the ninth is Mike Timlin. Timlin worked in the game last night, pitched an inning, had a couple of strikeouts overall, his 20th appearance of the season. Over his last 11 games, not a run allowed in 11 and two thirds innings. And Jonathan Papelbon up in behind him. Just in case. The top of the Phillies order coming up Jimmy Rollins. Rollins has been aboard twice tonight a walk in the first and a single in the fifth. But his defensive miscue. And it all started for the Red Sox an error that he committed back in the sixth inning as Brett Myers had cruised through the first five. An error would lead to a run as Gonzalez reached on the air and then the Red Sox would score three more times in the inning. And momentum switched in a hurry. Red Sox would go on to lead eight to one the Phillies coming back in a three run shot by Ryan Howard. Last inning. And Timlin trying to close the door on the Phillies here in the bottom of the ninth. In the center field, Willie Harris. One down in the ninth. So Rollins retired, and that'll bring up Chase Utley. Be hitting a home run back in the third inning, one of two home runs tonight for the Phillies. It was his ninth home run of the season. Well, after a couple more outs, we'll be a, begin a magical mystery tour back to the hotel. I have a very good feeling about tonight's return <laughs> trip, though. You have a plan, and I'm sure you're going to execute it this time. I feel strongly. Yeah. We're going in that direction, and we knew we were going in that direction last night, but well, I'm going to tell you what. We passed was, all that. It was that tough one. getting there. And we, we got off an exit, and there was no return <laughs> to the uh, other side of the house. Couldn't get back on. <laughs> We would buy that from a couple of different angles. The only question mark is, is when we come out of the parking lot whether they let you go where you want to go. Now they're not going to. They're not going to. And foul back into the seats. I might ask the uh, officer if they do allow left turns there. If they don't, then we're going to have to go with our original plan, which is the back of the lot. We'll see. Never know. Never know, Don. It's a crazy game. Swing and a miss. Notley strikes out. Two down in the ninth. Curveball from Tim Lindy over the top. 12 to 6 curveball to get the strikeout against uh, Chase Utley. So Mike Timlin has the first two outs here in the ninth inning. 
Bobby Abreu coming up. Bit of a skid for the Phillies. You know, they had, were playing great baseball and then had that three game sweep against them in Milwaukee. This would be five straight losses for the Phillies. They began the day three games back of the Mets. Fly ball to center field. Billy Harris coming in and making the catch a Red Sox win. They have taken the first two games of this series. What a show tonight for Beckett, who ends up with the victory and helped himself out offensively. And a home run tonight, eight to four. The Red Sox win it. The WB Mason's extra is right around the corner. So stay with us, Jerry, and I'll be back here in Philadelphia right after this. All right. Power and torque. Grab the Dodge you really want. Hurry to your Dodge dealer by May 31st before the Memorial Day sales event ends. Get to your local Dodge dealer for up to $5,000 cash allowance or 0% financing for 60 months on select Dodge models. in love and business. Especially with Store 22 opening in Paramus, New Jersey. My Madison bedroom is a competition cruncher. Dresser, mirror, headboard, footboard, wood rails, chest, and even a nightstand. Solid wood and nothing but solid wood. Untouchable at my owner to you price of $9.99. Crunch. Hey, I gotta do what I gotta do. All seven pieces of solid wood bedroom at my discount price of $9.99. You are our neighbors. You teach. You cheer. You sacrifice. You help those around you. You love your little corner of the world. Here at Extra Mart, we are proud to serve you. And we thank you for letting us be a part of your community. Come into Extra Mart for the best in Major League Baseball collectibles and a wide selection of baseball cards from Upper Deck and Tops. While you're here, enter to win a trip for two to the 2006 Major League Baseball All-Star Game in Pittsburgh. And the Red Sox win the first two games of this series. The play of the game is brought to you by Foxwoods Resort Casino. And of course, Josh Beckett doing it on both sides of the ball tonight. First of all, pitching. Not a big strikeout night, but you'll see one right here. Fastball by Ryan Howard. And then, of course, the big blast, the home run inside fastball. Beckett, his first since last year. And it was the Josh Beckett night as he got the silent treatment in the dugout. So the Red Sox have taken the first two games of this series. They win tonight 8 to 4 for Jerry Remy and Tina Servacio. I'm Don Orsillo saying good night from Philadelphia. Log on to Nesson.com, the ultimate destination for scores, news, video, and analysis. This has been a presentation of Nesson, England's most watched sports network. Time now for W.B. Mason's extra innings with Tom Karen and Dennis Eckersley. What a night indeed for Josh Beckett, getting himself out of a couple of jams early on and showing a little bit of motion and then showing a little bit of pop at the plate with a home run in the seventh inning that breaks this one open. Josh Beckett, tonight's winner, getting the cold shoulder treatment from the teammates but just for a couple of moments as they rally around Josh Beckett, an 8-4 win. In Philadelphia. Welcome to WB Mason's Extra Innings. Everyone, Tom Carrot along with Dennis Eckersley. Nice night for Josh Beckett. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you haven't seen something like that in 34 years since the DH was gone back in 1972. That doesn't happen every day. And it, Myers was sticking it to him for five innings. You thought uh. this game was going to be a, a tough loss for Beckett. But after he gave the fist pump to end the fifth inning, 
tables turned. Little help from an error as uh, that gave a little bit of an opening for the Red Sox and they bust through the door after that. Josh Beckett, as X said, went from uh, looking like a tough luck loser tonight to being the hero at the plate and on the mound. We'll hear from Terry Francona, Josh Beckett, and check out some of the wild interleague play from today. It's all coming up. We begin with the sixth inning because at that point, Sox losing one nothing. Myers is dealing. He's doing like seven, eight pitches an inning and is just making easy work. Only one guy had gotten on base and just the one little break, the two base error. Maybe it changes. He's pitching from the stretch. Maybe it just gets on his mind. All of a sudden, everything's different. You know, I'm looking for curveballs from Myers. I'm talking about this nasty curveball. Oh, he's throwing his fastballs for five innings. He starts off the sixth inning with a one hitter. Oh, come on. He throws a nasty breaking ball. Looks like Rollins tries. Doesn't really get a good grip on this. See you later. About 10 rows back. I mean, this is a guy that's probably one of the best shortstops in the National League, an all star. Looks like an easy play for him, but I don't get he think he gets a grip right here and launches this ball. Doesn't seem like a big deal. Nobody out. Pitcher coming up, Beckett. You know, you're thinking there's an out here. So, you know, he's just going to have a tough, tough, tough house in the start lineup. Beckett gets up, 2 0 pitch. He inside outs this ball. Base hit, RBI, doing damage all by himself. You're thinking, oh my goodness, I mean, one thing is getting a hit, uh, but there's more to come later on. <laughs> but what changes here? I mean, is it because he's got to go to the stretch? Is it just because. Yeah, that's pro uh, probably a big deal right there, going to the stretch. He miss, misses two pitches with Beckett. Then he has to come in there. Beckett's looking for it, looking for Fastball. The ball got in on him a little bit, but he's like a good hitter or something. Push Inside out that ball to right field. Kind of suckered him in on the first pitch, too. <laughs> yeah. It looked like he wasn't going to swing at all. Yeah, so I mean, that's nice hitting right there. And you're thinking, all right, at least they tied this right. thing. Did you? Knew, and knew? Myers had been dominant. Yes. Up to that. 16 absolutely. to 17 batters gone down. And yes. all of a sudden that changes. And of course, as it always seems to happen, the inning keeps rolling. This it is did. just the beginning of the trouble for Myers because the Red Sox absolutely pile it on. Euclid. Sneaks that one through for a little single. Loretta will get a single in there as well. They hold up. Beckett has to get the base slow. That's a good, that's a good hit right there by Loretta. He almost got punched out with a curveball before that. And he, he waits on a curveball, base hit to right. Good hitting. Then Poppy hits an absolute rocket. Abreu makes a nice catch on this ball. So it's only a sack fly. And it's a measly two to one score. And you're thinking, you know. Is that all? And he walks Manny on a breaking ball. He started throwing tons of breaking balls out of nowhere. And next thing you know, Trot gets a fastball away, yanks it in the hole, and now you're styling right here, four to one. This guy's pitching a great ball game, and they open it up right here, four to one. Good piece of hitting, hits that ball in the hole right there. How about so that? Everything's little, going great for the Red Sox. How about that on the bottom? Five of six for runners in scoring position with the Red Sox. And look at this. He had thrown 54 pitches. The minimum 15 batters through five innings. He throws 37 pitches to 10 batters in the sixth. You know, you, it's one thing you said. It, it's right. After five innings of going in the windup, and all of a sudden he had to go in the stretch, and he wasn't throwing good out of the stretch. And granted, they got a you know lucky break here and there, and some good hitting. But that game turned around on him in a heartbeat. That was nice hitting by Beckett's show, but that wasn't even his best at bat. <laughs> no. He comes back up in the seventh inning, and this is when you know things are going your way, right? You pitched out of a couple of jams, you came back and did a shutdown inning, and that was key. Yeah, that Let's was not huge. forget that, right? They yeah. get out of that inning. Now you need Beckett to shut down and make sure you're going to take care of business. He comes out and does it. One, two, three on eight pitches. Oh, this is great. He breaks out his changeup. You know, his changeup is probably 88 miles an hour, you see. And he gets Howard on. A change up. I think this is a change up to Burrell. Maybe not. Fastball away. Skies it to right. Easy out. Next up is, I think, Victorini, and he throws him a change up. Easy ground ball. And that's huge. You know, after you score four, four runs, shutdown inning is, is humongous. Then he comes to bat the next inning, and it's almost like, oh my God, I can't believe this. You know, you don't even want to get a hit. You're good. You're winning four to one. Who cares? And he gets a fastball in, and he loses this ball. You know, this is not a small kid. This guy's about six four, so it's not a you know skinny kid swinging the bat. He gets a ball in her half, and he's bailing and wailing and hits this ball about 390 and gets the silent treatment in the dugout. How about that? Marty Pat had his 1972 baseball card. He was the last <laughs> Red Sox pitcher to hit a home run. You may not see it again. I mean, for another 30 years. <laughs>
Last one on the road was Bill Lee that same year. Ooh. Oh, look at that, that same month? Yeah. Well, that, that was a big swinging uh, group of uh, pitchers. But that's quite a night. You know, the thing ah. with, with him, he, I wondered why he went back out there in the eighth inning. His score was eight to one. There's nothing to gain by it. You know, I don't want to get into this pitch count thing, but nothing, you know, he ends up. Is that 91 going yeah, into I mean, that inning? I would have liked to have had him out of this game. You know, if you knew what was going to happen, sure, you would have got him out of the game. But he would have been, you know, he didn't need to give up a three-run home run right there. But it's all forgotten. I would rather not to have that happen. Right. A one game and the pitch yeah. count. And, and you feel a lot better about yourself. had a couple earned runs on. But hey, regardless. It was a great night for the pitcher, Josh Beckett. And for the Red Sox, let's go back to Philadelphia where they win and check in with Tina Servacio. TC, thank you. Coming up, we'll talk to Kevin Euclid about his efforts tonight. He'll also give an analysis about Josh Beckett, both at the plate and pitching. We'll get Terry's take on the Red Sox taking out the Phillies once again. But now let's send it back to our Nesson Studios and Paul Devlin. Thank you, Tina. Coming up in a few minutes, Pedro Martinez and the Mets take on the Yankees. The former ace of the Red Sox goes after his sixth win of the season. Plus a whole lot of fireworks in Chicago as the Cubs and White Sox duke it out and clear the benches. That's all coming down the road on a Sports Desk update. Now back to TC in Studio A. Thank you, Paul. But the Red Sox love Philadelphia. There's a lot, a lot of culture there and a lot of wins for the Red Sox. Three last year, 2-0 this year with one more to go tomorrow. We're back after this. A brand new 2006 all wheel drive Subaru Forester that gets 28 miles per gallon. Car and driver's best small SUV for three years running. Now get 2,000 cash back or 0% financing. Or lease a new all wheel drive Forester for only $229 a month. Feel the freedom. Subaru. Feel the freedom. Subaru. Thank you. Oh, it's cold. <sighs> Introducing the new iced coffee from McDonald's. Try it free for four days only, May 18th to the 21st. So come on in and grab a cup. Swimming, soccer, ballet, oboe, and last but not least, karate! Swimming, soccer, ballet, oboe, and just one more time, karate! No time to eat? Grab a new Dunkin' Donuts smoothie made with real fruit and yogurt and drop the kids at Swimming Soccer Ballet Oboe and Karate. America runs on Dunkin'. Stop by Dunkin' Donuts today and try a new smoothie in one of three delicious flavors. The Boston Globe Sports Plus. I'm not afraid to speak my mind. Just tell me that there's hope here, Bob. You follow it more than I do. And neither of the Boston Globe Sports writers. We were talking about them as Stanley Cup contenders. Oh, wait a minute. Well, people were. The Boston Globe Sports Plus combines New England Sports Page with New England Sports Network. Here's the stat that killed. I can't wrap my head around no it. No hiding behind the pages here. Even the opponents love it. This kid is a good. The Boston Globe Sports Plus on Nesson. Wednesday and Friday nights on Nesson. Time for the start of the game, brought to you by Subaru, all-wheel drive all year long. Feel the freedom. It was the Josh Beckett show tonight. Seven innings, he scattered six hits, three of the four runs he allowed were earned, 106 pitches as he came back out in the eighth inning, although he never got an out, an error, a walk, and a three-run home. We already told you what he did at the plate. But forget about those three runs in the eighth inning. He carried right on from uh, what he had accomplished in Baltimore and before that against the Yankees. You know, he always has that fastball. He had a consistent fastball all night long. You know, even late in the game, he's thrown 96. He's always got that fastball. The curveball comes and goes with him. You know, here's a fastball right by Howard right there. And, uh, you know, you'd like to see him throw a, a better breaking ball. There's a good one. He punches out Bell with right there. But tonight he was sort of back and forth with his breaking ball. But he's always got that changeup. He gets some easy outs with that changeup. And his pitch count was down. So the last couple games he's pitched, he hasn't thrown a lot of pitches. And that's good to see. Hasn't thrown a lot in the first inning either. Those right. first innings had been big trouble for him. Tonight, uh, laid off a leadoff walk for Rollins in that first inning. He got out of that inning, getting the next three batters. Nice play by Euclid, too. This is a run-saving play by Euclid in the first inning. Yeah, as it turns out, this is a huge play. You know, he's trying to, once again trying to get out See, of this first point. inning. 
and Abreu hits a sharp ball the other way. And here's Euclid. You know, he walks over to third base and makes a play like that after playing first base so long. That's a huge play. That ball goes over there. The score's one to nothing. It changes the whole complexion of the first inning. But my God, this guy, that's not that easy to just take go from first to third. And, and the first inning you go out there, you make a great play like that. This guy, I mean, He's a, I mean, I, I keep thinking, well, you know, this guy, how good is this guy? How good is this guy? And every night I see him play, I'm, I, I can't help We're a quarter of the way through. I mean, I, you got to love this guy. He's I mean, been you just phenomenal. do. He is Defensively, really offensively, first base, third base, wherever they need him. I'm telling Top you. of the order gets the job done. All right, Kevin Euclid, uh, great play there. And uh, Kevin Euclid back in the lineup tonight after the game. Spoke with Tina Servasio. TC, thank you. Kevin Euclid joins me. Two hits tonight, two runs scored. And Kevin, first of all, we have to talk about Josh Beckett. He's been reminding everybody about his home run last season. Do you think he was able to live up to that today? Yeah, you know, uh, Josh, you know, he helped, he helped out his own calls tonight. He did real well and uh, threw the ball real well. And it was huge. He had that big hit, that RBI uh, single, and then uh, came with a big home run right there. And uh, we just had things rolling tonight for him and uh, we're fortunate to score a lot of runs. Where do you think the turning point was in this game, Kevin? Uh, that big inning, I think, when we scored those four runs and got on top, and when, when when we get on top and give a three three run lead, a lot of times our starters usually, you know, they're gonna, you know, I, well, you can't put a percentage on it, but it's, it, it's highly in our favor with our uh, pitching staff. And you're playing third base tonight with the National League, and, and Terry had to juggle the lineup a little bit, and you had to stay on your toes in the hot corner. Talk about that diving play in the first inning where he had to throw Brayu out at first base. Uh, you know, just uh, you know, Bobby's a, a great hitter that goes. You got to be ready over there at third anywhere. He can uh, spray the ball around the field. So basically, I just, uh, you know, I'm prepared at all times when a guy like that comes up and can spray the ball and just uh, just dove after it, knocked it down, and, uh, you know, threw the ball first. And uh, just very fortunate that uh, that ball uh, stayed right with me. All right, Kevin, thanks for joining us. TC, back to our studios. All right, Tina, thanks very much. On WP Mason delivery of the game, we got to give it to the man at the plate tonight. It was the man on the mound, Josh Beckett. The first Red Sox pitcher to hit a home run in what did we say 34 years almost 33 years Red Sox get a couple of RBI from Beckett and a win 8-4 at the final. numbers and just in case I've written down the restaurants okay, it's just fine. don't worry I've been babysitting for years it's the first accord there's no compromise when it comes to the things you love the accord lease an accord for 239 a month with a total drive off of 1999 for well-qualified customers Dan, you're looking at a man who's on his way to the top. You've been riding the elevator again, Jerry? I'm the go-to guy, Stan. You mean the guy that goes straight to the Rico printer? Mr. Clutch. Way to get ahead, Jerry. Move your ideas forward with Rico Dependability. Are you ready for something really smart in yard care? Here it is, the steel combi system. You buy one power head and your choice of attachment, and then add the other attachments as you need them. Simple to switch, the steel combi system can be a trimmer, hedge trimmer, pole pruner, edger, and more. It's simple, it's smart, it's the quality of steel. Steel, premium brand, affordable price. Available at steel servicing dealers.
First of all, the news, of course, is that he's going to pitch the rehab tomorrow, and he said that his expectation fully is, is to pitch Friday in Fenway Park against Tampa Bay. Uh, he also said that if things don't go well uh, tomorrow, that, it, that, that he's going to be on the honor system, that it isn't about the money, it's about his health. He doesn't want to leave the Red Sox hanging either. You know, everything is kind of fit together, and as X likes to say, this is a nice little club right now. You know, they've got a lot of things going well. It's well balanced throughout the lineup. They're pitching well, and they've got lights out at the end of the uh, at, the, at the end of the bullpen with Papelbon. So it, it, it's the kind of fun to watch, and it can only get better. I mean, I think it, it can only get better as time goes on. We think the same about our show, Jerry. We think it only gets better as time goes on. So join us tomorrow at 12:30 as Lenny Donardo gets ready to take on Corey Lytle. We'll have the replays of the week, and Gord needs. We'll be back with another edition of his Major League Baseball Notebook. No doubt that will include Barry Bonds, who today tied Babe Ruth for second most all time in Major League Baseball home run hitting history after a long wait. He hit his 714th and came off former Yankee Brad Halsey, the latest pitcher to give up a homer. Two Bonds, 420 pitchers in all. That's a Major League Baseball record as he is uh, now tied for second behind uh, Hank Aaron. 41 away. We'll see if he sticks around long enough for that. It would be very interesting to see how baseball reacts to that after sort of a hmm for Major League Baseball after number 714. All right, more news from a wild Saturday of interleague play. We go over to Studio B right now. Paul Devlin has a sports desk update. All right, Tom, this is a sports desk update presented by FW Webb. Distributor of plumbing and heating supplies since 1866. It wasn't Father's Day, but it was pretty darn close to it for Pedro Martinez. Pedro towed the rubber against the Yankees, a team he once called his daddy. To New York we go. Pedro facing off against the Moose. Mike Mussina. Pedro 11 and 10 in his career versus the Yankees. Top of the seventh. Pedro striking out Kelly Stinnett. He was brilliant. Seven innings, eight strikeouts, no runs. Bottom of the seventh. Get some support. Cliff Floyd pumping up and Aaron went out. His fourth home run of the season. Mets take a 4-0 lead, but Billy Wagner could not hold it. He coughed it up. Top of the ninth, 4-3 Mets. Bases loaded, one out. Johnny Damon hustling all the way. Beats the throw to first. Melky Cabrera scores. Game tied at four. In the 11th, Andy Phillips. Strokes one to right center. Miguel Cairo scores, and the Yankees win it. 5-4 in 11 innings. In Chicago, Cubs and the White Sox, and oh boy, was this interesting. No score in the second, bases loaded. A.J. Brzezinski on third. Now, he's tagging, he's coming home, and he's coming home hard. Michael Barrett gonna block his way, and A.J. barrels him over, but the play is not done. Brzezinski taps the plate, and Barrett says, oh man, delivers the right cross to A.J. Brzezinski, and Oh yeah, it's a good old-fashioned Donnie Brook and take another look at this. Major League collision at the plate. Barrett wasn't happy. Little shove there and boom! Right cross. Wow. Pierzynski, Brian Anderson, Barrett, and John Mabry were all ejected. Speaking of ejection, Tadahichu Aguchi. How about a grand slam? The Sox go on to win it. 7 0. Now, coming up tonight on Sports Desk, presented by FW Webb, reaction from Barry Bonds as he ties the babe with 714 home runs. We'll have more on that big fight in Chicago, and we'll have all the highlights and UMasses going to the Final Four in Lax. That's all coming up tonight on Sports Desk, presented by FW Webb. Now, back to TC in Studio A. All right, thanks very much, Paul. Yeah, wild Preakness today as well, so a lot going on in the world of sports. Some uh, NHL uh, Stanley Cup playoff action as well. And that looked a little more like an NHL game. Yeah. Uh, we, we saw, we watched the press conferences of the two guys, and uh, Barrett said he didn't see any of it. He didn't see him slap the plate. He wasn't angry or anything. He just got up into a punch. You know, he looked like he was just disoriented here. You know, he's, he got stung, and then all of a sudden he bangs into him right there. It looked like he said something, then he smoked him. But Brzezinski said he didn't say anything for the first time in his life because this guy's always popping <laughs> off and one time he doesn't 
The guy gives him a little six-incher across the jaw. Said he was going to get his helmet. His helmet's yeah, over to the left. He was, but don't be banging into me. Bam! He just smokes him. I mean, and then who is it? Anderson awesome. came in and laid a haymaker. Yeah, this rookie comes in and tries to take a shot at Mabry, and then you know, I mean, that's crazy. You know, once that's happened, you know, the Cubs aren't real happy anyway. Right. But it's the White Sox that are, you know. Brzezinski had a good point too. He said, "I don't know why I was uh, kicked out of the game. I mean, you, you got to sort of throw the two guys at the the middle of it just all." Just He down. really didn't do anything. But sometimes when there's contact like that, I think that guy didn't really know where he was. He just got stung and, and just popped him. I mean, that's that, that's ugly. You were thinking back to some days. I saw the <laughs> yeah. look in your eyes. I backed <laughs> off. We were watching that. I want to hit somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Not, now. <laughs> Not now. All right, spring is here, which means uh, Eck needs to get outdoors a little more, and so do you. Get out there for a barbecue. Get started on your home improvement project. Let True Value and Nesson help you with both. Go to Nesson.com. Enter the True Value Start Right Start Here sweepstakes for your chance to win a brand new Weber grill and a Stanley tool pack. Start your spring off right with True Value by visiting Nesson.com today. All right, no brawl in the city of brotherly love tonight as the Red Sox win at A4. We'll hear from Terry Francona right after this. What could be better than a free checking account? How about one that pays you interest? Like free interest checking from Sovereign Bank. It's an interest-bearing account with no minimum balance and no monthly maintenance fee. You get free standard checks, free online banking with bill pay, and a Sovereign Visa check card or ATM card with no annual or monthly fee. Plus, there's no fee to use other banks' ATMs. It doesn't get much better than that. Free interest checking. The name says it all. Sovereign Bank. Why do we always take your car? What can I tell you? It's a Mercury Milan. The secret's out. Milan can get you out of that Accord or Camry routine. With its sleek lines and sharp interior, it doesn't look like anything else. Up to 32 miles per gallon isn't too bad either. Hey, can I drive? Maybe next time. And now you can lease Milan for just $2.19 a month. See your New England Lincoln Mercury dealer today. Can't catch your Subway Dinner Theater presents the Italian Trio. Three mouth-watering creations from that country that looks like a boot. Now, our new toasted garlic bread, hot and fresh from the oven. Subway, eat fresh! with Sign and Drive in a brand new 2006 all-wheel drive Subaru Impreza sedan. Subaru's most affordable, fuel-efficient all-wheel drive sedan. Drive one home for only $1.99 a month and zero down and zero do it signing. Feel the freedom. Subaru, feel the freedom. Subaru. May 22nd to catch the Dodge Caliber question of the day. Log on to Nesson.com and with every correct answer, you'll get an entry into the Dodge Caliber grand prize draw. It's easy. It's sports day. You watch anyway. Now, why not win? Update our Sovereign Bank player profile. Ryan Howard had a one for four night, but the one was a big one. A three run home run late on the season. You can see he's hitting uh, 295 with 13 homers now on the season. He's got the second most home runs since April 16th of Major League Baseball. Only Albert Pujols has more after he hit that one. 12 of his 13 homers have come since April 16th. So Ryan Howard tried to make it interesting there. Cut the lead to four after the Red Sox seem to be in command by an 8-1 margin, but they hold on and take care of this. Mike Timlin, another scoreless inning to wrap things up in the ninth. All good news for Terry Francona, who has suddenly loved managing in uh, Philadelphia. It wasn't always the case at the end of his tenure with the Phillies, but back there and for the second straight year now, he's got a chance to try to make it a sweep of his former team. Let's go back to Philadelphia and hear Terry's take. Terry Francona with Tina Servasio. Tom, thank you. Terry, tonight Josh Beckett has great pitching but also helps his cause. Knocks in the tying run. His home run ends up being the game-winning hit. Now you have to sum up his offense tonight. Yeah, well, he'll, he'll probably sum it up for us without me talking about it. I think we'll probably hear about that for a while. I think pitchers get a kick out of doing something special with the plate. But I was more, I was more pleased with his pitching. He, he gave the solo home early, and then he really buckled down and kept a good offensive lineup. Really pissed the way he's supposed to and got us deep in the game. And a little bit later on at the time, Alex Gonzalez's two run home run seemed to pad the score, but how important did that become when you look at the whole game? We, we talk about it so often, trying to extend leads because you don't know what's enough. And, and even if it kept us away from using Papelbon, 
you know, maybe that helps us win tomorrow. You just you just play the game right and try to not throw away at bats and, and just keep plugging away. And, and again, when you have good players, more often than not, you'll be on top. And one of those good players, Kevin Euclid, has the day off yesterday, plays third today, goes back to his original position. How versatile has he been for this team? Well, it's good because we can do something like we did. You know, you rest somebody, give Mike Lowell the off because we're in National League City. Tomorrow, maybe David. And you have a guy that you can put on either corner and you know you're going to get a professionally played game. And for a young guy, that's kind of extraordinary. All right, Terry, thank you. Back to you, TC. All right, Tina, thanks very much. Yeah, David Ortiz expects to get the day off tomorrow, but she brought up a good point. Alex Gonzalez, that home run didn't seem like a lot at the time, but it wound up being the difference between needing to get through maybe Folk and Tim Lynn and Papelbon and being able to hold on with a four-run lead still after the three-run shot by Howard. You know, you don't see a three-run shot. If the score is four to run right, uh, one right there, the game is totally different. But it's nice to see Gonzalez hit a home run. I mean, my goodness, you know, he's been scuffling all year. He's hit a home run earlier this year. But this home run, my God, came out of nowhere. He's saying high fly ball. This ball is gone, dead central. I mean, this ball, they jumps out of that ballpark at any given time. We got pitchers going yard. We got Alex Gonzalez going dead central. That's a nice swing right there. Good extension. That little guy's got some pop. You know, he hit 23 jacks one year, so you can see why uh, he can hit a ball out of the ballpark. That's what we expected. A low average from Gonzalez, but we thought he'd you know, run into one every now and then. And, and he did. So maybe he, he did tonight. Get something going himself. Maybe he'll pick that up. All right. The rivalry has shifted, and not just because the Yankees are coming to Boston starting Monday. We're talking about the felt, not the field. Season two of PartyPoker.net's Boston New York Poker Challenge continues tomorrow at 5:30. Team Boston took round one from New York. But can Doug, Carlos, and Sarah hold off the two-nothing lead against the tough New York Lions? Up. Check it out tomorrow at 5.30, immediately following Red Sox coverage right here on Nesson. Uh, you can see Kurt Schilling sharing the love with Josh Beckett tonight. A fun night for Beckett and the Red Sox. They win in Philadelphia again. Be where the action is, where passionate, loyal fans follow the Boston Red Sox. Fans advertisers want to reach. Capture the hearts and minds of your potential customers with Red Sox baseball on Nesson. Call 860-723-2011. The Red Sox Report with Don Orsillo goes beyond the highlights, taking fans inside the team to places they've never been before. Wherever the Sox go, we'll take you there. The Red Sox Report presented by CBS Sunday and Monday nights only on Nesson. What is Sports Desk? Sports Desk is a half hour sports news program focused on getting you the scores and bringing viewers the stories behind the teams. It's not just about the results, it's also about the drama that unfolds leading up to the final score. Nesson Sports Desk, the first word in New England sports. Nesson Sports Desk, your sports, your teams, first and fast. Nesson Sports Desk, at a time that's right for you. The Boston Globe Sports Plus. I'm not afraid to speak my mind. Just tell me that there's hope here, Bob. You follow it more than I do. And neither are the Boston Globe Sports Club. We were talking about them as Stanley Cup contenders. Oh, wait a minute. Well, people were. The Boston Globe Sports Plus combines New England Sports Page with New England Sports Network. <laughs> the stat that killed. I can't wrap my head around No it. hiding behind the pages here. Even the opponents love it. This kid is a good. The Boston Globe Sports Plus on Nesson. Wednesday and Friday nights on Nesson. All right, don't forget, coming up after our Red Sox coverage highlights from the 131st Preakness, the second leg of the Triple Crown, and it was a strange one today. We'll show you why that false start had serious repercussions later. But coming up next, it's Granite City Electric's Extra Innings Extra. We'll have highlights, we'll have reaction from the locker room preview of the third game. Josh Beckett, we're told, still hasn't uh, come out of the shower yet. He iced down, went to the shower, so... We're waiting for him to speak with media. When he does, we will have his reaction for you after an impressive night at the ballpark. I use Bear Paint because their color smart system lets me coordinate colors online. I ordered paint samples online from home and they mail them to my front door. Bear Premium Plus comes with a lifetime guarantee and a great price from the Home Depot. Their stains are extremely durable, so I spend more time enjoying my deck and less time taking care of it. An independent study rated Bear the number one paint brand in America. And that was good enough for us. More and more do-it-yourselfers are discovering a higher standard for their homes. Good, better, Bear. Visit us online or at the Home Depot. Thank you. Oh, 
it's cold. <sighs> Introducing the new iced coffee from McDonald's. Try it free for four days only, May 18th to the 21st. So come on in and grab a cup. The strongest truck with unmatched might. And Ford Super Duty, the ultimate heavy duty pickup. It out pulls, out muscles, out performs the competition. Now Super Duty works even harder at the pump with a $2,000 gas card, which gives you $4,500 in total savings on Ford Super Duty. Great at City Electric's extra innings extra. The Red Sox back in Philadelphia. They were there last year and they swept the Phillies. The first visit ever to Citizens Bank Park. Try to do it again this season. They have scored a lot of runs. 40 runs now in five wins at the new ballpark in Philadelphia as the Red Sox take another one tonight. Continuing a red hot May. The second best winning percentage this month in Major League Baseball. They're now 11 and 4 and Josh Beckett went to 6 and 1 tonight. Beckett pitched well. Pitched into the eighth inning, three earned runs on the night. A good pitcher's duel as he was locked up with Brett Myers. Myers got 16 out of 17 Red Sox he faced until this error. The throwing error from Jimmy Rollins allowed Alex Gonzalez to go to second, and it changed everything. Josh Beckett, an RBI single after that. The game is tied, and the Red Sox just added on to it from there. Three more runs before the end of the inning, and then in the seventh, a home run for the pitcher, Josh Beckett. A two-hit night and a couple of RBI. Red Sox piling it on now. Alex Gonzalez gets his second home of the year. That's a two-run shot to dead center. Sox winning 8-4. They are 4-1 and one on the road trip. And we want to remind you that the Sox box is brought to you by Constellation New Energy, the leading North American competitive electricity supplier for businesses and the official electricity supplier to the Boston Red Sox. For more on competitive options in New England, please visit newenergy.com. And there is the Sox box. Kevin Eagle is back in the lineup. A couple of hits, had a triple, and scored a couple of runs. The big offensive night came from Josh Beckett. He was two for four with the solo home run. Alex Gonzalez had a two-run shot before him. Carlos Pena had a couple of hits tonight as well. Beckett didn't only do it at the plate, obviously, he did it on the mound. Seven plus innings, he'd only given up one earned run through seven. Gave up a three run home run, one of the un runs unearned in the eighth before coming out. Julian Tavares, Mike Timlin finishing up the game. Timlin scoreless now in his last 11 appearances. Red Sox put out the fire in Philadelphia. We hope Phillies officials put out the dumpster fire at Citizens Bank Park. All's well, that ends well. The Sox win at 8-4. What is gray, crisp, and hangs from the ceiling? A careless electrician. <laughs> Nobody knows electricians like Granite City Electric. Raymond Payne going the opposite way to deep right. Jake Gibbons back at the wall. It is gone. One nation, one network. Tomorrow, it's Sox Phillies at 12.30 on Nesson. Can't catch your socks in time? At midnight on game nights, tune in Red Sox in two and edit it down two hour replay of the Sox game. So keep track of your socks around the clock with Red Sox in two. The Memorial Day sales event is going on now at your Dodge dealer. Save big on the hardworking Ram 3500, the legendary Cummins Turbo Diesel, or the big new Ram Mega Cab with best in class interior room. 
and the Ram Quad Cab with a new frame and suspension for an improved ride. Grab the truck you really want, a Dodge Ram. Hurry to your Dodge dealer by May 31st before the Memorial Day sales event ends. Get to your local Dodge dealer for up to $4,500 cash allowance or 0% financing for 60 months on select Rams. Hurt is counting down to his 200th win. Stay tuned to Nessun for the Shilling 200th win watch. All month long on Nessun. Shields ready with the one two. Bang stuck him out. Strike three call. Be where the action is, where passionate, loyal fans follow the Boston Red Sox. Fans advertisers want to reach. Capture the hearts and minds of your potential customers with Red Sox baseball on Nesson. Call 860-723-2011. Have spring travel plans? Then plan on seeing your local Ford store for service before you go. Get your Ford road ready and help improve fuel economy up to 15% with our Fuel Saver package, including an oil and filter change, new fuel filter, new air filter, battery test, tire rotation, and a multi-point inspection for just $99.95 or less. Plan on saving money and saving gas. See your participating local Ford store today. One more time. One more time. Really keep your eyes fixed on him and let him tell you when right. to stop. Let's look at me. Knock, knock. Who's there? The electrician. The electrician who? The electrician is here to fix your doorbell. <laughs> Nobody knows electricians like Granite City Electric. All right, it's still May, and while those other TV seasons are ending, Nesson is just getting warmed up. Johnny Damon and the Yankees are back at Fenway next week. The Sox face their toughest division rivals all month long. And the second season of the Boston New York Poker Challenge is heating up. That's more reality than your TV can handle. It's all month long over here on Nesson. All oh, Red Sox win this one 8 4. Might not be indicative of the game. This was through at least, what, six innings. This is a pretty good pitcher's duel early on. In fact, Josh Beckett really only made one mistake until that eighth inning, and that was that home run from Utley. Other than that, he was fantastic. But if you're watching the other side of the field, this guy Myers is throwing the ball good. I mean, this big boy throws hard. I didn't realize how hard he threw. So you know you can't make any mistakes. So he luckily got out of that first inning, and then later in the third inning, Utley gets up here, and this guy is a legitimate power hitter. I mean, this guy is, is an up-and-comer. I think this guy's one of the best second basemen in the game, and he throws him a 3-1 fastball, and he does not miss it and crushes his ball. You see here, right here, you got to take your chances sometimes. Three and one, he kind of jumps on a fastball, stays up, elevates it a little bit. This guy, this guy can wear out a fastball. This ball's gone, and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I hope one run doesn't win this ball game because the way the other guy's throwing. Looked for a while like it would. In fact, all that sixth inning action, the heroics and the Red Sox, might not have happened if not for a little escape back by Beckett in the fifth inning. It happened with two outs, but all of a sudden he was in trouble. Rollins at first base, and all the attention going over to the guy at first. Oh, absolutely. He throws a curveball here, first of all. And he does some good hitting right there. But he's been in a slump himself. He's been in a slump for quite a while. He gets on first base, and the whole ballpark knows he's going to want to run. They got a one-run lead, and, and this guy can fly. And they go over there several times, close a, a couple of times. A nice move by Beckett, and almost gets him there. Meanwhile, he steals this bag. Sooner or later, he's going to steal a bag. It's, it's no, he got no chance right here. This ball's in the dirt. This guy can fly. So they're in a, they're in a good position right here. He walks. He doesn't want any part of him after taking him deep the time before. He throws him a curveball in the dirt. So now he's going to go after Abreu, who, uh, who has had, hit, had some success off of him. And he throws him a changeup. I think that was a 3-1 changeup. And he just reacts big time to this. You think he just won the World Series right here. 3-1 changeup. Gets him out of the inning. Look at this. Yes, he almost falls down. I mean, <laughs> He's totally excited on this. That's a great pitch. I think he's just like, just feeling good about getting out of this inning. A 3-1 pitch. A 3-1 pitch right. to Abreu. And everything went uphill from there as Boy, soon as he it, did that. Did they got the error to lead yeah. off the bottom half of the inning, and all of a sudden Base he's hit. he's driving and runs. Everybody's happy. And this Myers guy, I mean, he was, uh, I don't know, Brett Myers, he yeah. might be the best pitcher, but he can't get any run support. And tonight he didn't, you know, all of a sudden it all got away from him after that error. But watching him pitch tonight, and I was thinking, lay off his curveball. Lay off his curveball. He never threw his curveball. <laughs> for five innings, it was a breeze for five innings. Nothing but 94, 95 fastballs and, and cutters. He's making it look, I mean, easy. This guy didn't even have to break out his breaking ball, but he, maybe he waited too long. Meanwhile, that's gas right there, right by Manny. I mean, this guy's a big boy. Look at him. He's bigger than Beckett. So I, I had no idea that this guy threw this, this, this hard. 
Look at that breaking ball right there. This, I mean, this guy's got good stuff, so you can see why he's their best pitcher. Meanwhile, he's not going to do too much if they just score him one here and one there. He's, now he's two and two, and, and he did give up six runs, but two of them are the only ones earned. Yeah, he, again, he hasn't given up more than three earned runs in his last five starts, and he's 0 and 2 in that stretch. But, uh, you know, I didn't realize how good this guy is. I he's mean, this guy's going to be 26 years old, so him and Beckett really do mirror one another, and this guy's uh, got some hump. Well, Beckett's the better hitter, so yes, tonight Beckett came out on top. <laughs> Red Sox win this one. The final was 8 to 4. Remind you, on Thursday, June 15th, at the TD Bank North Garden, the tradition continues. The Sports Museum is proud to present the fifth annual tradition, the signature summer event celebrating the legends of Boston sports. Honorees include Harry Sinden and Nesson's own Jim Rice, along with others. For tickets, call 617 624 1233 or visit sportsmuseum.org. The tradition is presented by New Balance in association with Nesson and the TD Bank North Garden. If computers get debugged and bombs get diffused, what do electricians get? Delighted. But seriously, folks, nobody knows electricians like Granite City Electric. Boston versus New York. The rivalry returns. It's PartyPoker.net's Boston New York Poker Challenge at Turning Stone. It's season two. Deal with it. Wow. <laughs> Boston holds all the cards and the trophy. New York wants in. New players, new attitudes, same rivalry. PartyPoker.net's Boston New York Poker Challenge 2. Sunday nights, only on Nesson. Deal with it. Hyundai is taking on Honda and Toyota with the Hyundai Challenge. We're out to prove that our new Sonata is the best value running. Here are the stats. More standard safety features and interior space than a Honda Accord. America's best warranty and $4,500 less than an Accord. You owe it to yourself to check out the fuel-efficient Hyundai Sonata. Before you spend too much on a Honda or Toyota, take the Hyundai Challenge today. During the Hyundai Challenge, lease a new Sonata for just $189 a month. But hurry, offer ends May 31st. Stan, I love the smell of Rico printers in the morning. You do, do you? It smells like dependability. So now you can smell dependability, Jerry. Oh, yeah. That's good to know. Move your ideas forward with Rico dependability. You tune in Sports Desk each day to get your news, scores, and highlights. Now you can tune in and get a car. Check out the desk and you could win a 2007 Dodge Caliber, the new lightweight roomy hatchback that gets 32 miles per gallon on the highway with features that you won't find in any other car. Tune in Sports Desk the week of May 22nd to catch the Dodge Caliber question of the day. Log on to Nesson.com and with every correct answer, you'll get an entry into the Dodge Caliber grand prize draw. It's easy. It's Sports Desk. You watch anyway. Now, why not win? What did the broken light switch say to the handsome electrician? Only you can turn me on. <laughs> Nobody knows electricians like Granite City Electric. All right, Red Sox wrapping up tomorrow in Philadelphia. Lenny DiNardo going up against Corey Lytle. Lenny DiNardo hasn't pitched since May 7th. So what's that? A couple of weeks since he pitched on that uh, Sunday afternoon game at Fenway Park against Baltimore. Corey Lytle, one and two in his career against the Red Sox. Lenny DiNardo, remember that game? He walked the bases loaded in the first inning after getting a couple of outs that actually walked in a run. And you're thinking, oh, my goodness, this is going to be a long afternoon. But he settled down to pitch well got his first win. You know, Clement thinks he's had a long wait. This guy's career has been on hold when he pitched last year. I mean, yeah. that's what it seems like. And everybody just remembers. I think there's going to be a short leash tomorrow anyway, you would think, right. because they haven't used the bullpen all that much. But when he went out against Baltimore and walked five guys, I mean, everybody was like, oh, my God. But he did come back in that game and uh, punch out five guys in the five innings. So he... You know, it's hard to do what he's doing, you know, because he's got to be a control pitcher. He's a big, tall guy. If you don't go out there, it's hard to throw strikes, but it's not like he's throwing 100 miles an hour either. But and this is a tough thing to do, and you hope for, you know, really all you do is hope for five five innings and hold them or whatever. And, 
and uh, I mean, he's held his own. I mean, he just had a couple of that one bad outing got lit up, and everybody's saying, who's our fifth starter? So it's a tough position to be in for this kid. Well, you got a couple of things sort of transpiring at the same time. Abe Alvarez has been called up. He's 5-0 in Pawtucket, so he'll be available in long relief, and should Donato come out of the game in that fourth, fifth inning, he would probably be the first guy to come in, and David Wells makes his rehab start tomorrow. And so one would think this is tomorrow and done if Wells can pitch at all uh, next Friday. You know, it's, it's true. He's got to focus on just, you know, he can't worry about, he, he knows he's, he's not going to be there at some point if Wells comes back. But you can't think like that. This kid's just got to go out there. It's tough enough getting big league hitters out than to worry about, oh, my God, am I still going to have a job after I give it up today? No, he, he's got a spot right now. You need a lefty in the bullpen, and it will probably be him if he's right. not going to It's not like he's start. going to the minor leagues right. if he has a bad outing. And sometimes that's how it used to be when you were a kid. Oh, my God, if I pitch bad. And that's too much pressure to put on yourself. No, this is, getting big league hitters out is enough pressure. All right, that's Donardo. That's tomorrow. We're going to take a break. Come back. Uh, wrap it up. Kevin Euclid sharing a laugh with Doug Mirabelli as uh, Kevin Euclid had a couple of hits back in the lineup tonight. And the Red Sox get 12 hits in all and a four win. The Red Sox report with Don Orsillo goes beyond the highlights, taking fans inside the team to places they've never been before. Wherever the Sox go, we'll take you there. The Red Sox Report, presented by CBS, Sunday and Monday nights only on Nesson. They are the guardians of the diamond. They are the protectors of the lines. Between them is where the game is played. To the Red Sox, they are the corners. Mike Lowell, Kevin Euclid. You want them on the corners. You need them on the corners. And they can hit. Do not fear them. They are here to protect you. Can't catch your socks in time? At midnight on game nights, tune in Red Sox in two and edit it down two hour replay of the Sox game. So keep track of your socks around the clock with Red Sox in two. Hey, what happens if you can't catch a Sox game during the week? After an exciting week in the nation, unwind with Rewind. So join me, Hazel May, every week while we highlight the week that was by bringing you Red Sox highlights, interviews, team news, and more. Thanks to Coach and Bates in the... How'd they do that? <laughs> Man, Hazel, you don't miss a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, be kind and rewind. Granite City Electric's Red Sox Rewind, Monday and Tuesday nights only on Nesson. A uh, seventh inning, Josh Beckett hits the home run. He gets the win. He's six and one on the season after becoming the first Red Sox pitcher since Marty Patton in 1972 to hit a home run. So Josh Beckett, certainly the headline story today. And it'll be Lenny DiNardo tomorrow. This has been a great road trip for the Red Sox. They take two out of three in Baltimore. And now they've already won this series. So no matter what, they can do no worse than four and two. Could come back five and one. They came off that last road trip and lost every series, right? They were three and six. So this has been a great road trip. And I was just thinking about Beckett. This guy goes out there. It's like Little League. When you could, if you can hit a home run in a game, this has got to be Little League. So he's got to be feeling real good. He could care less about that home run he gave up. Let's hear what he has to say about it. Let's go back to the clubhouse and hear from Josh Beckett. No, uh, you never had expect to hit a ball hard off of a guy like that. You know, he just happened to hit my bat with it, and you know, it carried for me. The wind was blowing out a little bit, so it was uh, you know, it's exciting. What was it like when you got back to the bench? Uh, I was just trying to worry about the next inning, going out and executing pitches. You know, it's easy to have a mental lapse there and and, and not focus on what you're. Uh, what, what you're what you're trying to do and uh, you know like I said I just got lucky and he hit my bat with it. The guy sort of joked around gave you the cold shoulder. What do you think we can tell about All right we will hear more from Josh Beckett as he and the Red Sox beat the Philadelphia Phillies. For Dennis Eckersley our entire crew I'm Todd Garrett thanks for watching. Final score for the final time 8-4. Sox win the first two games down at Citizens Bank Park. Again more reaction on Sports Desk. Paul Devlin coming away from Studio B right now. Hi, Dad. Did I miss anything? Should be starting any minute.
Sox. in a brand new 2006 all-wheel drive Subaru Outback, the best-selling wagon in America, and get 2,500 cash back or 0% financing. Or lease a new all-wheel drive Outback for only $2.69 a month. Feel the freedom. Subaru, feel the freedom. Subaru. Today we may look back and realize that getting so much for so little started right here at Quark Hyundai. Introducing the all-new Azera, a Hyundai like you've never seen before. Backed by America's best warranty, 10 years or 100,000 miles. Azera, incredibly equipped at just 23,874. It may be the most car for the money, ever. Take the Hyundai Challenge at Court Hyundai, Haskell Road, Bangor.